Buckle up and hold on as we take you for a wild and exciting ride on the road to Transworld. This is Transworld Live. What's going on, people? It's Sunday. It's Transworld. What's up, Rich? What's up, Chris? Didn't I see you last night? I. It feels like a <laughs> <deja vu. laughs> What's up, Nicole? Hi, everybody. Hello. I'm home. Hey, were oh. we, we all together like last week or something? We, uh, I, we were yeah. just there. Yeah. It oh feels like a few gosh. short days ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, we have tons to talk about tonight, and we have a show chock full of amazing things. So what do you say we just get started right away? Yeah. Right, let's do it. Let's just we're jump back. right in. Let's just jump right in. Yes. Let's, let's do it. We are very, very excited to be joined by... He owns Creepy World. He owns St. Louis Jack-O-Lantern Festival. He owns the St. Louis Horror Store and Arcade, St. Louis Escape, Retro Mini Golf, Lemp Brewery, and of course, the darkness, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Larry Kirshner. Hi, Hello. Larry. How's it going? Hi, Larry. Hello. Hi, Larry. How's it going? It's how's it going, you? Rich? It's going, buddy. It's going. <laughs> Tell me you're not driving in your car right now doing a, a live podcast. Okay. Uh, my hands, uh, no, I'm not driving, but I'm in a car, though. Yes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> this well, just shows how so busy Larry is. <laughs> no, that, that shows dedication. Okay. <laughs> See, I, I'm risking life and limb letting Patty drive me somewhere okay? <laughs> so I can talk to you. <laughs> Maybe right, you should Larry, put the screen on lost. her and you talk. No, no thanks. <laughs> we need her paying attention. All right, makes sense. So let's Larry, dive right into it, Larry. Over here. <laughs> Rich, you what's on us? your hat? Rich, what, what what is your hat? What's on there? Curly. What is it saying? <laughs> Early. Early. Curly. It's a Curly. It's owned by Nike. It's a it it's sort of a skateboard surfing type company. Like Three Stooges, Curly. <laughs> Pretty close. Oh, boy. Because he, he is a stooge. Nice. <laughs> well, Larry, the rumor is on the street that you are opening up on Friday of Transworld. Can you tell us all about it? Um. Well, you know, uh, we haven't actually had live actors since 2019, which is before the COVID thing. Um, you know, that's the uh, event that most people would go to. Um, but, you know, I'm a little concerned. You know, St. Louis weather is hit and miss, so it could be really cold or it could be like it, it's been lately. It's been like 45 to 50 degrees, um, but you just never know. So I didn't want to get like run over the coals on the Internet if they stood out, <laughs> you know, in the cold. So I was like, hell with it. I don't care. Uh, but we had a tremendous amount of people who asked that we do something. And so uh, because the Trans World show is coming up so fast, like I, I didn't even want to commit to it because I don't want to open the haunted house when it's not fully put back together. And so like, every, year, every year after Trans World, um, you know, not after Trans World, after Halloween season, we kind of uh, try to start the renovation process. And um, a lot of these vendors, you know, that we've ordered new props and stuff, you know, I mean, they're obviously having a little bit of a trouble here. You know, we had to downsize everything or minimize what we would normally do. And um, and so luckily, like a lot of vendors got us, uh, like everything we ordered from Union 70, we already got. We're, we're getting a lot of the stuff from uh, Ghost Ride. It's coming in little by little. And uh, Gorglor, 
we ordered something from him. He's going to deliver literally when he shows up for the show. Uh, <clears throat> so, you know, it's made it a little harder to, to uh, do upgrades and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know if you saw the video on my Facebook page oh, I just of, the, um, of the greenhouse. That's the greenhouse without, like, all the effects on, all the props in. I mean, it's really, really cool. It's beautiful work. It, it, we're, we're showing them right now on the screen so that all of our viewers can see them as well. Yeah, so the tour, we're just, it's really not even, a, it's just what we call a behind the screen tour. So we don't turn the, uh, the fog on. So it allows the customers, you know, the haunt owners, operators to come through and take pictures and video. Um, I mean, our goal every year is to inspire people. And it's really actually uh, stressful to do these tours because we're always trying to top everything that we've done in the past. So every time that we try to do something, you know, we're trying to do something that nobody's ever seen before or done before. And, uh, you know, I think we've accomplished that, you know, over the years, especially with that, uh, when I had uh, Unit 70 make me that, uh, that Pennywise spider clown, which went like super viral, you know? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there was actually two made. There was only two made. One was in the darkness, and then one was made. I had I had both of them, and I brought the other one to the show. And uh, But one was in the show. Um, so, like, you know, every year we're just trying to top ourselves. But, like, I can tell you, even with the minimal amount of time that we've had, uh, we have really, like, when people see this, like, greenhouse that we did, I mean, it is over, over, over the top. Um, and then, you know, like uh, some people came to our tour last year, which was uh, just a one night only uh, behind the screens as well. And um, but we actually doubled the size of our uh, horror gift store even, you know, since last Trans World. So um, and then we built another scene it's like the tool shed. It's attached to the greenhouse. And then we did we ordered a bunch of props and animations and like we've been working on the haunt. Plus, we did a new escape room since last Trans World. Um, we had it. We hoped that we would have it done before last Trans World, but it didn't get done until May. It's called Jurassic Island. If people want to see it, you know, just go to St. Louis Escape dot com. But uh, yeah, so uh, and it also includes like a seminar, like a question and answer seminar for an hour beforehand. And then I got Dwayne Sandburn from 13th Gate, who's going to come as well. And you can get your tickets at darkness.fearticket.com. And I think there's only like 90 left at this point. Wow. Yeah, Larry, so, we got a lot of commenters saying that they've bought their tickets already and they're super excited. Well, yeah, I mean, when you're saying, hey, there's only 275 people who can come. And by the way, one of the reasons why I didn't put the tickets on sale sooner is because I wasn't sure that we would actually get it done. And it's still not done. And then I had a meeting with everybody. I'm like, are you sure we're going to get this done by like <laughs> February? They're like, yes, yes. So like everybody worked really hard. And uh, we brought in some people from out of town and they're helping. The problem is, is that if you don't know this, I built amusement attractions like, you know, all over the, the world, really. And we've been really busy building and installing attractions. So my normal carpenters and everything, they're so tied up, they couldn't help on it. So I had to bring in some people from out of town to help. Um, and so, uh, but yes, uh, it's looking so badass, and I'm like so excited. Because we're actually doing some stuff we haven't done before. So like we did all the lighting and DMX, and we haven't done that before. So there's like lightning effects. And, uh, and, and by the way, it has, the greenhouse alone has six animations in it. Wow. Um, wow. One is, one no one's ever seen before. It was made by Unit 70, and it's sitting in there. And so when I did the little video, the air wasn't turned on, so you couldn't have seen it. But, like, one of the things that we did in there, too, is we took an old, like, 40s truck. We cut it in a bunch of little pieces. We brought it upstairs, put it all back together. Because, you know, you can't get a truck up a set of stairs and inside of a door jam. Right. <laughs> so you have to cut it apart. And then that's what we did. So, um, and... Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm like really excited that a lot of the vendors, like for example, and I'm not supposed to say anything, but I had Ghost Ride make me a lot of custom props. 
that he's going to bring to the show. So nobody's ever seen him before. So he doesn't want me telling anybody about him. That's awesome. Um, And when I did the little tour through there, you didn't see him because they weren't in there yet. So, um, but yeah, it's going to be really cool. And the coolest thing of all is going in the second room. Um, Nobody's ever done this before. And I had Ghost Ride make it for me. He doesn't want me to tell anybody what it is. But we haven't taken any pictures of that scene so no one can see it. Um, but he doesn't want me to tell anybody what it is. He wants to people <laughs> see it at Trans World. So, Love it. There you go. Love it. What a great opportunity. So, Larry, yeah. I, have a, I have a question for you. So, yes. Um, we've been seeing some changes in the industry, uh, especially with gift shops, and it's something you talked about. Can you tell us why you decided to do what you did with your gift shop and why you took so much space to make it as big as it is? Yeah, you know, um, you know, it's a funny story, actually, because uh, it's, it's really a long story, and I won't give you the long story. But Patty was always the big believer, you know, in having everything in the gift store be, like, really cheap, like, you know, $5 and under. And that is really the main things that get sold, uh, aside from T-shirts and whatnot, and hoodies. But uh, I uh, found out about, uh, I started talking to uh, a guy named Bo from Trick or Treat Studios. And um, and he had <coughs> these um, gigantic life-size Annabelle dolls. And, and I bought them. And then I bought... Um, I bought like some uh, full size gremlins and a bunch of other stuff. So I put them in the store and nobody thought they would sell, you know, cause they were like $500. And this is a funny story. Cause it was last February uh, when we did our, uh, my bloody Valentine's event and I'm sitting out there freezing. It's zero degrees outside. <laughs> and, and I was the scanner. I wanted to be the scanner cause I wanted to make sure it went faster. So like people didn't freeze to death. And, um, and somebody calls me over the radio as I'm freezing to death and says, hey, Larry, uh, uh, we sold uh, one of the Annabelles. And I was like, uh, really? I'm like, OK. And then they call back like 30 minutes later and said, uh, Larry, we sold one of the gremlins. I was like, <laughs> oh, OK. And then like literally uh, 30 minutes after that, uh, Larry, we sold the other Annabelle. And I was like, kind of ah. convinced that that people would buy expensive stuff if you know you had it yeah. and not not stuff you would see in spirit but stuff you wouldn't normally see horror collectibles and so anyway i figured out like well i want to expand the gift store i mean you can go forward right and that would make that lobby area smaller or there's only one other way to go and that's into the haunted house so that's what we did so we took out one whole scene of terror visions to expand it to the left. And then what was a really funny story is like, we started putting it all back together. And I said, and I started going crazy buying stuff. And, uh, and then I said, uh, it's not going to be big enough. We got to take out another scene. So we made it even bigger again. And then right before transfer last year, uh, I was like, it's not big enough, but we don't have time, in, you know, for the tour that we're doing. We got to leave it the way it is. But we had already taken out even more. It was just some hallways. And so it was already bigger, but we didn't have time to put it all back together. So we left the wall up. And then when Transit was over, we took the wall out. We put in more carpet, you know, and the rest is history. And the gift store, I can tell you this, like the biggest night we had for the gift store was almost $20,000. Wow. Um, wow. The, big, wow. the biggest night we ever had for the gift store prior to making it a, like a, what it was before, plus a bunch of horror collectibles and whatever, was probably, I don't know, 4000 maybe, $4,500. Um, and then this last year did over 20, uh, right around 20000 or close to it in one night. So you're, you did twenty grand in one night in sales. Yeah. yeah. Wow. 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 Yeah. So like, I could tell you for like uh, the Krampus, which we limit to like 1,250 people. I mean, we did over 10,000 uh, just for the one night at Krampus. Wow. But yeah. Yeah. Well, if that's not great evidence for all attractions to be opening up a gift store, they should do that now. <laughs> yeah. Now, but Larry, I, 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 will, I will tell you one of the mistakes that I think a lot of people make, especially on the gift store, is like we've gotten a lot of uh, – 
credit from the haunted house industry. Like when they come to the tour, they're like, Jesus. So like you have 10, 15, 20 different darkness shirts and we do. And I think we're at, we're at right now we're up to like 22 different versions wow. with our name on it. And we're always trying to go, you know, kind of like uh, retro looking with it. But like, I think like a lot of times haunt, like they'll put just their logo on a shirt. <clears throat> And that's not, I don't think what people necessarily want, you know, they want to have, uh, you know, like they have different tastes, obviously. That's why we have a lot of different things. But I will tell you this too about a gift store. Like the horror toys didn't like sell like really well, <clears throat> but people enjoyed looking at them. And I, I can tell you that the last thing that people experienced from the darkness was going through the horror gift store with no actors, nothing, right? And just looking at stuff. And our ratings were never better. Um, you know, even in a time when it's really a struggle to uh, get actors, and we really struggled at that, and the ratings were never better. And I credit a lot of that to the gift store, even if they don't buy anything, it's like, it's like another attraction, it's another experience related to horror. Yeah. You now, Larry, horror. quick question. Are you, is the gift shop going to be open? People are asking. Oh, yeah. Like, that. that's part of the tour, actually, that it's in the description. Like, Patty, she loves that thing, and she buys stuff for <laughs> it all the time. And by the way, you know, it's like, she doesn't understand horror at all, really, to be honest with you. But um, I'm, I'm the one buying, like, all the collectible stuff. And Patty buys all these purses, and it's just, like, purses. But they sell like crazy. And I don't even know where the yeah. hell she gets all these things. But, like, I see, like, women coming in there and spending $200 on a damn purse. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And so we have a lot of purses, believe it or not. And that's really one of the biggest sellers uh, okay. is these purses. But but Patty knows everything about the gift store. So when we do the tour, she's going to be in there. And so people can come into the gift store and literally ask, what are your five best sellers? What should we not buy? What should we buy? What, you know, whatever um how to price something so like patty will have all the answers and they could just walk in the gift store and find out that's awesome now i know that you've got limited time with us tonight so we've got just a couple more questions for you that we want to get out there um switching gears just a little bit um we know that you have done a lot of trade shows around the country um how does trans world in terms of booths and even prices or you know from a vendor standpoint, stack up to the other shows of its size? Well, you know, because I build uh, attractions that are more amusement park or family fun center, that's like where we sell most attractions. So there's quite a few shows like, you know, IAPA, there's the amusement expo, the ball expo. There's a whole bunch of different things you can go to. Um, yeah. The one thing I will tell you about Trans World is that it's a buyer show. So, like, when you go to IAPA, there's there's no money exchanging hands there, really, you know. Uh, typically, the, the actual buyer's not even there. So, like, uh, when you go to IAPA, people will say, oh, there's a lot of amusement parks there. Yes, there are, but not the people who buy for Halloween, for example. Right. So, like, I'll, I'll, I'll say, oh, yeah, you're from Six Flags so-and-so. And, like, oh, yeah, but we don't handle Halloween. Uh you know, they'll go to that Halloween show and the right people uh, will be at that show. So the one thing that I would tell you, and this is an interesting conversation I was having with uh, with a vendor who is trying to get into the business, trying to get in, you know, like they've never done the Haunted House show. They have a really unique product. And I was telling them because they were like saying they think they ought to start small and maybe do some of the smaller shows that are cheaper. And I'm like, what are you crazy? Okay. Uh, because here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing that people don't understand. Like when they don't understand business. Okay. So let's just give you an example. If you went to a, a horror show, like days of the dead is in Atlanta this weekend. Right. And you can go and you can go get autograph from Tom Arnold. You know, OK, but if you were to go to that show, they might be selling those tables, is what they call them, tables, and they might be two hundred dollars. OK, but here's the thing. The show runs all weekend. It's going to cost you exactly the same to go to Days of the Dead for two hundred dollar table 
as it would to go to Trans World or IAF or any other show because your time is money, okay? Your yeah. travel, your uh, hotels, your food, all of that is the same, no matter what show you go to. So you don't save anything on that side, okay? Now, and one of the things, let me tell you something. I'm like considering going to the amusement expo, which has almost no attendance at all, and it's in Vegas. So one booth to that show is $3,100, okay? Wow. So simultaneous to that show, they run concurrent um, in Vegas, is the pizza show, okay? Which I think uh, there's a lot of vendors, actually, at the pizza show that probably should come to Transworld. The, the cost of one booth for the pizza show is $4,100. Wow. Okay. So, Larry, now, what you're saying is no matter how you slice it, Transworld is the best value. Well, yeah, because especially if you're a new vendor, going to, like, some small show makes no sense. Because yeah. just because it's a little cheaper, it's still the same amount of uh, time is spent to go. The same amount of money is, is devoted to the cost of of being there the whole time the show is happening. So let's say a show, and I'm not going to name any shows, but let's say it costs $800 to go to that show and Transworld 1600 Well, the difference is 200 people went to that show, okay? And by the way, no Six Flags, no Cedar Point, none of those people went, okay? And on the flip side, there's 12,000 people there. So you're literally getting, if we're like making some sort of ratio, you're getting probably 100 and 50 to one on your money right. uh, when you go to trans world because everybody's going to trans world and these other smaller regional shows are getting very very few people um i would say if you live real close to them you, you maybe you could consider it but if you got to travel halfway across the country to go to it you might as well just go to the trans world show and put all your chips on the table because exactly. that's the only way you're ever going to win. I'll, I'll tell you something really, really fast. It's really funny. <laughs> when we were really trying to sell like Haunt World ads, I mean, hauntworld.com still does fantastic. It's just that we're so sidetracked with everything we do, but we to really push like selling ads and stuff. And I'll never forget, like this was at the peak of Haunt World. It was doing like 2 million people every October. Like 2 million people would log into Haunt World to find a haunt, right? It's still doing great, but not that great because of Google. Thanks, Google. <laughs> um, but this this guy comes up to me and he says, uh, uh, I give him a 30-minute speech about why you should buy an ad and all this and that and the other and how Haunt World had been my second highest, uh, you know, from an analytics standpoint of actually clicking through and buying a ticket and whatever. And then he says to me, it was like the dumbest thing I've ever heard anyone say, he says, well, you know, we're trying to build up the business so that we can buy, you know, more advertisement. And I'm like, what do you, what? I'm like, dude, you buy ads so you get more people. Like, what are you talking about? You're going to build it up so you can buy ads? Like, that's like the most backwards thing I've ever heard. And from a, and from a vendor standpoint, from a vendor standpoint, you really got to like, there's only one option for you and that's to go to trans world and, and go all in. And the, 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 the dumbest thing I always hear from people like a vendor and he'll say uh, something like, Oh, trans world wasn't that good this year, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, dude, did it ever dawn on you that maybe your products, nobody yeah, wanted because everybody and their grandma was yeah, there. So if you got a product yeah. and you believe in it, then you want to be a trans world and you want to be there because that's where all the buyers are. Now we appreciate Larry, it. now really quick, you're going to be at trans world as well. You're vending. You've got booth 1241 and 1243. And now I can hear so the phone stuff, so you've got a lot on your plate. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. If you guys want more information, it's www.thedarkness.com. Yeah. Well, and that's we're not. See you in less than ten yeah. days, right? Why would it be like yeah, but you don't go to the darkness side to get the tickets. Go no, 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 to no, no. But to see more about. The oh, darkness. yeah, about the darkness. Yeah. yeah. Or the best thing yeah. is to go to our uh, our YouTube page. Um, and by the way, everybody should uh, get on our Haunt World YouTube page because we've been traveling the country, we've been visiting haunts, and we've been like interviewing haunt owners and going behind the scenes. Just like you can yeah. come behind the scenes uh, at Transworld 
for the haunted house uh at the darkness but we've been with the haunt world channel been going to some uh, really cool haunts and doing behind the scenes i think the behind the scenes are the best way for a haunt owner operator to learn something from a haunt rather than going through yeah. with actors because you kind of get pushed through you know and you can't see everything because of the fog and everything behind the scenes is the best thing and i've been having so many haunt owners tell me that they love these uh behind the scenes videos that we've been doing on hauntworld.com yeah you know, because yes. we've, we've been we've been interviewing you know so to speak it's like a haunter who understands trying to you know extract all of your uh and i've been learning a lot myself uh you know from up uh, from these uh from visiting these haunts and so when you come to my haunt i want you to learn something as well and uh but go to darkness.fearticket.com and uh i think there's only about 90 tickets left now yeah and we've actually got a couple of people that have logged on um and they're just getting caught up so if you guys didn't hear before buy your tickets now there's only about 90 of them left uh, that is, to and, and Center. as Larry said, the darkness.fearticket.com, which Robert has already dropped in our comments for you guys to go to right away. Larry, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you soon. And thank you for everything that you do for our industry. Oh, Bye. no problem. Thanks. See you later. Take See care. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Larry. Oh All right. My God. Oh, wow. I'm so excited. I'm going to do a quick plug for the darkness. So a couple of years back, I went to the darkness for the very first time. I was completely enthralled. It was really awesome. It was like awe inspiring in so many ways. And then, um, you know, to be able to bring some of like our haunt crew there and stuff year after year and watch them, how they get so excited. And, you know, there's a lot of massive scenes to kind of take in, yeah, but huge. also I mean, Larry. Yeah. And like Larry's lobby is great and all oh. the other offerings that he has. And it's very unique to watch. Um, you know, it grow, but also how, how he has changed with our industry and also customer bases, you know? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And a second on that gift shop, I mean, it is absolutely huge. And he yeah. has it coupled with an arcade with plenty of pinball, like yeah, dozens of boards. So if you're a pinball junkie, this is a great place to go to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's a very so unique for, location. Very unique. Oh, and it's seen All right, so really quick, I want to shout out to Christopher Williams. He is new, catching us, not on the replay. Also seeing Taylor in here. A lot of other people that are catching us tonight, which is great. <laughs> Scary Gary's on here, and you can catch him at the darkness as well as the uh, Trans World um, trade show floor. And Paul says, I do. I do look different. Thank you. Um, I am. This is exhausted, tired Nicole with straight hair. So this oh, is one this other is plug. Hard. One other plug that you missed there, George from uh, Mortals on there, and uh, sneak yes. peek for uh, uh, Tuesday's show, uh, Mortal Mass. Oh, oh my God, I missed George. I'm sorry, George. Hey, George. He's going to be on yes, as well. Tuesday, Tuesday, he's joining us. Yes. So yeah. stay tuned for that. Awesome. So excited. We, we, yeah. No, go ahead, Chris. You're no, we didn't get a chance to do our, our top of the show. Uh, wonderful information. And I know Nicole was throwing it to me to deliver the very last time. Uh, 10 days yeah. to the show. 10 days. We oh, leave God. seven days uh, from today. So. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but the Trans World live part, like for us, we will start live phew, seven days from now in St. Louis. <sighs> <laughs> yep. for oh some, of us, some of us uh, yeah we'll all be together um shortly and just uh, just a little we'll over bringing, a uh plenty of footage too for the folks that can't make it this year you know you just stay tuned yeah absolutely you'll yeah. get to see everything that's, that's going point, on Mitch. yes if you can't make it we're going to be broadcasting daily cool. um from there and also if you can make it make sure to stop by and see chris and i if oh, you yeah. see us um, another thing too, we've got fun surprises. We'll be announcing more on yes. Tuesday's show as well as next Sunday. Um, cause we've got giveaways. If you've never met Tons. up with us or gone to our booth, we always have giveaways for you guys. So, uh, sure stay tuned on that. <laughs> Tons. And, and as far as that coverage, Nicole, I mean, you could even bet on hourly coverage, uh, if not even a little <laughs> bit closer. And so what's great is even if you're, if, if you're not at the show, we're going to miss you. 
But if you are yeah. at the show, it's a great opportunity when you're getting some downtime, resting your feet. You can check it out and say, oh, wow, I missed that booth. I need to go check them out. Um, or I need to go back to them. I didn't see that they had that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So it can be yeah. your accompaniment to the entire weekend to make sure you see everything and you're a part of everything. Yeah. And speaking of yeah. uh, gift shops too, even, uh, you know, one of uh, Larry's parts on there, like, you know, be sure to look around. We have a lot of exhibitors that actually sell wholesale for gift shops. And like, yeah. we're going to have uh, also on Tuesday, uh, a new exhibitor that's going to be featured. Uh, he's a guy that does um, pumpkin carving with this scraper he designed, and he's actually going to carve a pumpkin live on the show. So it's going to be kind of cool. To see I love that. I saw it. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. but there's some fun stuff, but there are several exhibitors out there. You may not realize at Transworld that they actually sell wholesale. So, you know, some people buy things out of their booth, you know, at the show, but there's quite a few of them that sell wholesale for gift shops. Yeah. Well, and Rich, you know, speaking of gift shops and bringing cool items and that type of stuff, Kudos to you. You're bringing a lot of new vendors with a lot of yes. new cool things for us. Like literally I saw the show notes. I was texting my partner and I was like, we have to make sure we grab, you know, we, we get contact with them. This is going to be a cool new hot item. And, you know, I know that you firsthand are working very hard on, on bringing us a lot of new, and we're really excited to have them on this Tuesday and uh, talk to them. Did I hear rumor that this is the same product that was on Shark Tank? It was. This guy yeah. was a tank. Yes, he was. Yeah. What? Big awesome. D. Big D. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll have fun yeah. with that too. So <laughs> I love yeah, it's it. a cool product. He's uh he's he's pretty enthusiastic about it. He's very excited about doing our show. So it's gonna be fun. And it'll be fun to introduce him next week uh, on the live. That's awesome. <laughs> now, starting from the top, Chris, tell us who else is gonna be on tonight. In case somebody just logged on, saw Larry, wanted to hear about the darkness. We have so much more in we, store tonight. We really do. And for those that have been watching, and we're so grateful that all of you are here, but for our veteran viewers, you might have noticed we had to start off right away with an interview. We want to make sure we bring you the best and brightest of our industry. And if they need to go first, we let them go first. So now it's our time to kind of do our show rundown. Like we said, yeah. 10 days We've got some amazing guests. We have Eric Turkelson from Holly Dynamics coming up. Yeah. We have, yeah. We have Allie Mueller from Dogwood Entertainment coming up. Whoa. And then <laughs> hey, we're gonna, your day. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and then we're gonna close out the show with Jay and Jamie from Wicked Makers. Yes. We're just gonna yes. blow our socks off. If you haven't heard about these guys, just wait. It's you awesome. Don't know who they are. You will, you will after tonight. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. But so, Chris, do we have? Do you have anything else on that docket, or uh, should we should we break some news? Well, I was thinking we should break some news because this is what a lot of people have been waiting for. Yes, and this is super zesty content. Yeah, uh, Kyle, bringing up the word, <laughs> uh, and Kyle, shout out to you, my friend. So we were on Transworld Live last Thursday. If you didn't catch it, head on over, catch the replay. We had a lot of information, but we broke some news there um, about the tribute store yes. and a uh, pocket full of tacos. I love that pocket tacos. That's the, um, that's the pocket. <laughs> that's the taco right there. Okay. Oh, no. You got so many show one liners. It's great. Um, so th we broke the schedule, we broke the vendors, and we broke we we broke that information. We had broke products the week before, yep. but we have two new products to show you tonight. Um, but we're also going to run through that schedule really quick for you. And I'm hoping that Robert's fast fingers are ready to go with what we have. <laughs> um, so if you guys are ready, we're ready to tell you more. Here we go. On Let's do it. February 2nd at 8.30 a.m. We are kicking off the show, uh, the tribute store, with our products from Froggy's Fog. That is going to be a uh, original scent of a candle, which is going to be awesome. Ooh. There you go. It's called Gothic, and it's going to be, it's great, and it is the coconut um, wax candle. Then they also have their own special blend of frog stock coffee. Ooh. And yes, it's already ground, which we found out. And you can actually brew that right in your hotel room. That'll be a great accompaniment to your mornings after the Transworld parties to get you through the show or to your home. <laughs> Whoa, um, what was that? That, that, that? Pay no attention to the <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> then we've got at 11.30 a.m., we're going to be rocking a um, to be determined uh, Ghost Ride Productions item. You're going to want to be in line, Note, like I said, for that 11.30 a.m. drop. Um, and again, these are exclusive products. They will never be done again. They will be um, one and done. That's it. Um, and that is something from Ghost Ride. Then at 2.30 p.m., um, Boscoyo Studios exclusive design. We broke this on our last episode on Trans World Live. They are going to have some really awesome light ups. This is just an example. Oh. It's going to be the same as the brand new exclusive t-shirt design. So we're hoping to drop that um, to you guys before the show. Um, but if not, on Thursday at 2.30, you'll be able to scoop those up. Um, and that's on Thursday, Kyle. Sorry. Um, so for Friday, uh, February 3rd, we're going to be dropping at 8.30 a.m. This is going to be for Bright Night Studio. And they are offering a really cool, you can either turn it into an ornament or a magnet. And it is the official Trans World icon. Um, and we broke that last week. Um, I know that Thank like, you, Michael. very hard to get that paint job done for us. And... Um, we, you know, we should have that out soon. Sean, to answer your question, yes, you will have prices prior to the show. We will make sure that you have that. We will keep you updated in our breaking news segments um, with that information as we have them. Um, at 11.30, we're going to have uh, an exclusive item from Toxic FX. And he did break that news that it's going to be a limited edition little boo that's specific to the world this year. I know. Cannot wait. And then for at 2.30... Um, we are going to have a, a, the official Transworld Party accompaniment from one of our good friends, Tater. And that is going to be a s very special branded flask. There you Whoa. go. Yes, yes he <laughs> did it earlier in the show. Um, but that's just in time for all the parties. So you can fill it up with your favorite spirit and bring it along with you. So make sure you're in line and ready to purchase at 2.30 on Friday for that. Now, okay. Nicole, I think you've got some breaking news even more this for is, Saturday's yeah, I lineup. Know. I know, but wait, there's, there's more. more. Okay, so, um, okay, here we go, guys. So last week, again, we broke that Distortion, Stilt Beast, and RCFX all have products. Those are all going to be on Friday. And at 8.30, the Distortions product is going live in the store. And Robert, go ahead and show them what there is to offer. You too can own a piece of Distortions Unlimited exclusive just for this show. You can do anything you want with it. Some people, I'm sure, like I'm already like, oh, I'm going to put that on my Christmas tree or something. You know, always scare the, the, the family when they're around. When you <laughs> uh, but you could also change it into anything that you need. So that's really awesome. Then, at a, and that's at 8.30 on Saturday, February 4th. Then at 11.30 at the Tribute Store, dropping, and it's it's hot, something new from Stilt Beast Studios, none other than our friend Alan Hopps exclusive. Look mask. at that. It oh. is so cool. So this oh, is, is cool, cool because it can also be a mask, and then you can also hang it on the wall. And Function. so this is, again, this is a chance to own something from Stilt Beast exclusively from the Tribute Store. Wow, that's, that's awesome. at eleven thirty. Yeah, I know. Thank you, I Alan. Love it. I love it. And but wait, there's more. Wrapping out the mm -hmm. tribute store with something very special just for the upcoming holiday, aka Valentine's Day. Um, it doesn't have to be all blood and gore because this time it is an exclusive My Bloody Valentine hot blood from RCFX. This is super cool. Mm -hmm. You zoom in the bottle, it actually says it's black light reactive. Super fun. Um, yeah, so I'm seeing a lot of comments. Remember yes. where to be, when to be there. And again, we'll help you guys out here with breaking those new that, that news, getting you the pictures of items. Um, no problem. The, the tribute store is located right in the in the lobby where registration is. Yep. It is going to be a big, beautiful set that's all around it. Thank you to Creative Visions. No. Um, and it's going to be, um, it opens every single day, um, along with the opening of the, of the show floor. And then it closes at the same time as the show floor. So, um, as you can tell, some of the exclusive items are going to be earlier, so you can still get into the show floor and get what you need. 
So just plan to be there a little bit early if you want to get in line. Um, all of these items that we've showed tonight are limited. So make sure that you know. Go ahead, Chris. No, I, so I just, I wanted to like help recap because yeah, I noticed please. a pattern. So all day Thursday, all day Friday, all day Saturday, there's three times that people need to remember. Yes. 8.30, 11.30, and 2.30. Yes. They are as like in between for seminars and other stuff as, as we possibly could. It's very yep, hard, it's obviously, right? Yeah. And so things start selling at those times to hopefully, so you can get to, um, your next seminar or your next, you know, obligation at that time, still get lunch, get back to where you need to be, all of that. So, and those, again, those are limited. They are limited to one person per per or one purchase one per person. person. Um, all of that. Are there Transworld t-shirts and whatnot available? And what design is this year? So the answer to that question is yes. And we are hoping to break that news on uh, Tuesday or next Sunday when we can show you guys some of those stuff in person as well. Very nice, Nicole. That's awesome. Yeah. And two All really right, well, that's big... my contribution to the show. You and Richard got it from here. <laughs> oh, geez. Seminars. Thanks, it's Nicole. Just well, I'd like to give a special shout out to all the all the uh, vendors that do take their time to make these products and these exclusive items for all our guests. Uh, we started this a couple years ago. Uh um, a lot of this was Nicole's idea to go far with this. And Eric, uh, they they put this idea together. It's worked very well for us. And people are very excited. People love collectibles. And yeah. guys, a lot of them aren't making a whole lot of money on these things. They're no. it's basically a break-even item pretty much. But we do it because we want to create the uh, collectible items for our guests. Yeah, and it's really cool because all of these vendors take time out of their Transworld prep to get these done. And so, and, and, and Rich, that's a very important point is that nobody really had to do this for us, but this is something that is, you know, like for example, distortions, right? I remember right. being a young haunter and being like, one day we will have distortions, <laughs> right? No, but in, in for real. And now we have a number of items and it's beautiful and it's wonderful, but to be able to kind of take home something like that right away is yep. so awesome. And they're all signed and they're all numbered and yeah. The list kind of goes on from there. Very exclusive but... collectibles, yes. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. As have the shirts become, Rich, in yes. a lot of ways, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. We sell out of those things right away, too. So yes. if you need a shirt, um, whoever was asking earlier, every year we run out of those things extremely fast. We don't, we don't do a limited run on them. We don't do a ton of them. So if you want one, that's one of the first things you want to jump in line for and grab those because they yeah. do sell out extremely fast. And that's an important note. It doesn't matter who you are. Uh, my husband yeah. was doing some setup. He was running around doing some stuff on day one. He comes back and he's got a pouty face. He's like, they don't have my size in a hoodie anymore. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. But that's an important thing too, especially with the store. Yep. Remember this note. Those folks at the store, shout out to Meg, are working very hard to accommodate you and make sure that you they not only have all the sizes, they do the very best they can to update everything and keep it going and flowing. And then in addition, are offering these awesome exclusives, three of the busiest days of, of the show um, as well. And they are yep. super excited to do it. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, awesome. All right. <laughs> How are we doing, guys? Oh, my gosh. We're doing good. We're off yeah, to a good Yeah, and I'm loving all of this happening. Like, everybody is commenting, and they're super excited. We're only 10 days away. People are talking oh about snow God. and snowstorms. <laughs> Guess what? Guys, I will be out there in my parka with my sled yep. ready to bring you over to the trade show floor if need be. Like, I am a girl from the snow. I got this. We're good. <laughs> Chris good. said shovel. Rich oh. is going to bring some salt. We got this. this. Party. We yeah, got this. St. Louis, we'll the weather, the weather's stuff. looking fairly, you know, good for, yeah, it's it's for uh, next week or the week, well, the week of the show. We leave on Sunday, yeah. but, you know, the forecast 10 days out right now is in the 40s. So hopefully yeah. we stick there, you know? Yeah. And not only that, Rich, how many vendors are outside? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hold on. Mm. <laughs> yeah. How it's, many parties know, I, are outside? I don't, I don't think there's any. Exactly. I did have, it's funny you say that. I did have a guy that does this fire show he actually asked me if he could do it outside and i said yeah i said you you know i don't know how that works i mean what if the weather's you know in the 20s what are you gonna do then he said oh, i didn't even think about that and he's yes like, <laughs> absolutely absolutely ah graffiti yeah. fx is watching while they're packing 
There you go. Love you guys. <laughs> love yes. you guys. Yeah. yeah, no Thank street you. vendors this year, guys. Don't forget all our gifts that you told us you were going to bring there, Jennifer. Yeah. Yeah, Jennifer and Taylor, make sure they're they're packed and ready to go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't wait. Oh my god! All right, there's so much more. Are we ready there's, for our next guest? Oh, we are. There are yeah. tons more. He yeah. is sitting waiting. We are so excited to have him here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Eric Turkelson from Holly Dynamics. Eric, hey everybody, what's up? What's hey. going on? Nebraska in the house. Yeah, and Creepy yes. Santa, too. I figure since we're doing a little bit of haunt, Christmas, and everything, I bring Creepy Santa, and I'm going to bring him with me so Rich can kind of take oh, him I, around while we're at I, like I love him. I, I like him. He's going to put him in the tribute store. That guy might have yeah. sold well. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. Yeah. Eric, you know what he reminds me of? So we have vintage motionettes, mm -hmm. and his face looks just like – and. Mind you, these motion that still work. I have no idea what's inside of them. Actually, some of our hunter people were over and they were like, Oh my god, you don't understand. The hawk community goes crazy over those things. Like, but I'm like, we've used them every year since like I was born. So and they're cool. perfect and wonderful. But yeah. he happens to have the same face as that Santa. It's yeah, well, I wanted to bring him with. Yeah, kind of, you know, all the excitement, all the news you guys are bringing up. He was getting pretty excited in here. So I, I love it. Love it. It's all the way from from yeah. Omaha. Yes, yeah. I am live. I am live from Omaha, Nebraska, where <laughs> it is a balmy, probably 26 degrees right now. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we're going to take you on a vacation to somewhere yeah. tropical called St. Louis. Yeah. When you're yeah. Yeah. Oh, we are there. so looking forward to that. You, yeah. you guys have internet there? No, we don't. <laughs> we're looking to get that probably about five years from now. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'm just in a big cornfield right now, guys, so. There you go. No problem. <laughs> to answer the quick question, there is some Christmas items in the tribute store this year. Bosco nice. Studio or Bosco Studios for you. is producing oh, nice. a Christmas item. So yes, yes. Nice. absolutely. Yeah. All right. Awesome. All right. Well, welcome. Tell us Thank everything you. about Holly Dynamics. Thank you. So Holly Dynamics. I'm the chief sales and marketing officer here at Holly Dynamics. Uh, Scott Hazy, the owner, he wanted to join tonight, but he had a previous engagement. So I'm going to be riding solo. Um, but I'm really excited to be here. We've been in business for about 35 years. Uh, started as a decorator and then a manufacturer for about 25. And then under Holla Dynamics, we've been about 12 years now. So located out of Omaha, Nebraska, and we are a manufacturer, distrib distributor, uh, decorator of holiday lighting and decor. Wow. We do everything from clips, cords, timers, trees, tower trees, pretty much everything in between. We're really a one-stop shop. Kind of our main customers would be our affiliate base or guys that go around and do um, holiday lighting for a living. We also do Halloween. So we've got an extensive lineup for Halloween as well. And then we work with a lot of theme parks, zoos, and botanical gardens as well. So oh. we also make a lot of big custom pieces, uh, which we're really excited about working with everybody on those. Uh, we're really excited to come down to Transworld again. We've been going for several years. I remember Rich talking to us about Transworld here. I don't even know how many years ago it was, Rich, but... Uh, we're, we've been excited to go every year. Love to be a part of it. Love to see a lot of our friends and then all the, the new attractions and new uh, booths that get set up in both the Halloween side and also on the Christmas side. So, Eric, I uh, I remember the day when we actually met when I walked into the, uh, your showroom in Dallas. It was kind yeah. of funny, but uh, with you guys were all sitting in there. And I've always loved uh, bantering with you guys. You're clowns just like I am. We tease back and forth about the the sports teams and whatnot. You know, yeah. I'm sorry about the Vikings again. You yeah, know, yeah, that's it, all right. Same old stuff. And, you know, my buddy Scott, and I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry that he's a Cleveland Browns fan, but I mean, oh. somebody has to be. So He's the one in Nebraska. So, yeah. Exactly. At the end First of the day, him wife. yeah, him and his wife. I mean, his, yep. I hear some good things about his daughter, though. She's a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Yes. Yeah, I, Chloe, my family. Yeah. I, I, I think they have a chance of uh, going somewhere and it's going to come from the Yoff Springs. But, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll <laughs> talk about that at a later date. And I think Scott still has to wear a Pittsburgh Steelers uh, jersey at – uh, trans world, which I didn't make them do a yep. couple of years ago when we had a bet. Well, we're going to follow up on that maybe this for the year. whole week. I think is what it was. That, that's mm -hmm. what it was, and it never. It, you know, when he won, I had to buy him dinner, which did happen. <laughs> you know, we did that in Atlanta, but I never got the yeah. day where he was supposed to wear a shirt. So we'll go from there. But yeah. anyway, long, yeah. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions because yeah, you absolutely. know it, it's interesting where we started and where yeah. we are. And I know you do a lot of stuff in Christmas, and and you're mm -hmm. well known for that. But how is 
the haunt side of the show affected your business, you know, with, uh, you know, with the customers that are there and oh. they're noticing like uh, a lot of uh, haunted attractions doing Christmas events now, or even a Krampus event. And we're also noticing, you know, a lot of the Christmas guys that are kind of doing some Halloween stuff. So how's yeah. that affected you guys? No, I think it's been really good. I've, we've had a lot of the Halloween guys come across. Uh, we sell one of our lines is dynamic illuminations. And then that dynamic illumination line, it's basically, it's a fiber reinforced plastic and we make benches, we make tables, lamp posts, um, Adirondack chairs, just a lot of different things. And I'm seeing, yeah, even the space that we've brought up, um, all can be illuminated. So it's really a vast assortment of different things that we can do from uh, letters, numbers. I mean, just lots of different things. Up on the screen, you're also gonna see, these are some of the pieces that we do for like the theme parks. This is a big hippo. That's cool. But we can make pretty much anything on the custom side out of fiberglass, silicone, um, boxwood, a faux boxwood or moss, metal frame, pretty much anything you guys can think of. Here's yeah. just one of our new pieces wow. on Halloween, the cute owl Scott just came up with. Love it. Um, yeah, this thing is going to be, I think this one's going to be a great addition to our lineup. Uh, but we've added probably a good 30, 40 different products just in for this year. Love the alien makes him look like he's 3D. Um, so he's going to look like he's just popping right out. Um, but yeah, so it's been, it's been a really good, I think a good thing for us, Rich, when you ask the question of just, you know, finding a different audience, right? It's, it's, uh, bringing people over that you never really thought maybe would be a client, uh, that, uh, that you are with now. Yes. Yeah, so so we, we, have, have, we have a guest, uh, asking a question. What's that light behind you? I, I, I call it, oh, yeah. halo. you know, you look like, uh, <laughs> you're there with, uh, with your halo on, but. What is that? Can you explain? It's not a light. It's an idea. It's me right now with all the ideas that we're coming up with. Very nice. No, this is actually, this is actually one of our spritzers. And these come in uh, 16, 24, and 32 inch. Uh, great for pathway markers up in canopies of trees, uh, landscape beds. Um, real cool thing. We've added a reinforced uh, hoop here. We've added a heavier gauge wire. We've really made this kind of the Cadillac of this type of light. Um, and it's really cool for us because we love the fact that it comes in an assortment of different colors. We can do red, white, and blue. That's that's here. Uh, we do them in red, green, blue, pretty much a lot of different colors. But then we're also really excited the fact that we were doing this just also in dynamic RGB, which is kind of our claim to fame. Um, Scott came up with this probably about three years ago, our dynamic RGB. It's just a simplified RGB technology. So there's no app, no hassle, all, con all controlled with a simple remote uh, that you see here. So it's all RF or radio frequency, uh, but we also have those in dynamic RGB. So you can change the color of that spritzer. And then also we're doing that in a warm white this year and also extending that big lineup of dynamic RGB into dynamic RGB WW. So a lot of stuff that we're going to showcase here. I'm not, I'm not as good as being as animated as Nicole and Chris, but I get really excited about this. You're stuff. doing great. When we see, we're, we're we see this, guys, I'm telling you, when we're down in, in Transworld, we'll be at uh, 4519 is our booth. Uh, we've got several booths that are kind of connected. Um, but when you see this stuff, we're coming out with some things that you just haven't seen in the industry before. We really like to push the envelope on technology at Holodynamics. I'm um, sure you can get our amazing garlands and wreaths and C9 bulbs and light sets. But we really are cutting edge when it comes to just the new things that are available for our customer base. So we like to be unique. So that's a big thing when you come by the Holodynamics booth. There are going to be a lot of uh, giveaways that we're doing, uh, just Transworld kind of specific things. You have to be at Transworld in order to get a few of these items. Uh, so we're really excited to show that. But I'm I'm thinking, okay, we're going to be down there. We say, you know, it starts in about, what, 10 days? I think we take off in about a week. Uh, mentally, we've already been there for the last six months, kind of planning <laughs> and figuring out, you know, what are we going to do different from last yes. year? Um, yeah. So, yeah, a lot of time and planning goes into it. Um, but gosh, we are so, so excited to be down there and be a part of this and, you know, just be a part of Transworld and, and get down to St. Louis again. Well, we've got one of our uh, industry legends, Alan Hops, commenting on those um, spritzers, mm -hmm. um, how they would look really awesome in an underwater set. And I have written down that I, I have a shopping list, like when we interview vendors, I need to stop by and see you because I want those spritzers for my house. Oh. I want 
business. I want them nice. out of everything. Nice. I love it's Christmas lights. I don't have the time nor the energy to do all of the stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, those would be perfect. I love well, it. We even came out this year. Oh, Chris, hold on. We also came out this year with a 48 inch oversized dynamic wow. RGB spritzer. And then we also have it in a classic or warm white look as well. And that's been really popular for like tower trees. So we do anything from a 12 foot to an 80 foot tower tree. And we can also do it in our dynamic RGB. So again, that simplified RGB that we're able to put into the tree. And the, I think our 40 foot has 29,500 diodes in it. And this thing is just, it's its amazing. So we'll be showing some of this stuff down at uh, at Transworld, but also you can go on our website at holodynamics.com. Um, and then you can also reach out to us all the time. Any questions that you guys have at sales at holodynamics.com. We're always here to answer questions that you guys have as well. I love it. In addition to those spritzers, I'm changing all of my furniture in the house to your light up furniture. Yes. Um, <laughs> you have benches and tables and yes. bar tops. And yes, it's so awesome yeah. to see. <laughs> Chris, well, we even have, we even have, well, depending on what you call it, a, a seesaw or a teeter totter. We have that for you as well that you could put right in the master bedroom. It'd be, it'd be amazing. Oh, okay. It's my first stop. Make it yeah. a true yeah. playground. Yeah. Oh my God, I love it. No, and actually today I was just talking with my niece. I'm like, I want to, let's do a, a 16th birthday party. And I was like, what if we make it glow? Because, you know, yeah. that's my new thing. I'm all excited of. about yeah. it. That's exactly. a perfect segue, Nicole. Perfect segue. So I have a question for you, yeah. uh, Eric. Do you have any of that stuff in stock? Uh, we do have some of the uh, benches in stock right now, a few of the tables. Uh, yeah, maybe, the I, you know, like I think that stuff would fit in really well at the Let It Glow, Let It Glow, Let It Glow party. I you know, know. some, maybe we can set some up and kind of. I'll, I'll talk to Scott and I'll let you know, let you know, let you know. Perfect. <laughs> yes, they end up in Nicole's truck, home, home, home. I love exactly. it. I love and it. maybe people will take those home. You, we we yeah. can feature them at exactly. the party. Yeah. I was actually going to contact you about that stuff, but we, you know, it's been, we, we have a lot of cool things for that party. Those might be neat sitting. Well, the nice thing about it. So we've talked about too, and we've, we've attended IAP on different shows like that, but a lot of where we're getting a lot of people looking is on the rental side. So what one of our amazing pieces we'll have down there is our dynamic RGB WW cherry blossom trees. Uh, we've Ooh. got them in seven foot and 13 foot, but we can also custom make different sizes as well. But those are a game changer when it comes to whether, you know, you're just doing something in front of a restaurant or one of these haunt attractions or something as you're welcoming in your guests. Uh, they've been huge. And a lot of people are using them for the rental side to go out and rent these pieces out. Because the nice thing about it, it does about 25 plus colors. So you're not going to have gone are the days of just having a static purple tree or a red tree or a green yeah. tree. Now yeah. you can go out and change that. We actually have on our settings, I don't know if you guys can see up close, mm -hmm. but we've got some presets in there that include a Halloween setting, a glacier, Christmas, and a peppermint oh. theme, uh, which wow. is really nice. So all yeah. controlled with that one single RF remote. And we'll have those down at, at uh, Transworld for sure. Oh, we're going to have to play with those. That's awesome. But wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Eric, thank you. Take out over the show. Yeah. Just take it over the show. Wait, wait. There's more. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of, lot of great things. But one of the things I'm really super excited about uh, for us at Holodynamics and for our client base is within our Dynamic RGB, we've come up with a lot of different patented products, uh, one of which is our Hub Light, which I'll show more down there at uh, Transworld. The hub light is, this is based on an E17 socket base where you can actually plug it into your C9 wire, okay, which is wow. really cool. You could have, going up on your peaks, you could just screw this in and work with your with your C9 bulbs that you have currently in the line, which is really easy. But we've also put it over to Dynamic RGB, which is really cool. And then this past year, we came out with our patented Dynamic RGB C9 bulb. So this actually can work with any light wire. So any of your SBT1, SBT2, uh, it's going to give you eight different colors, six different functions. So gone are the days of just having your home outlined with a static pure white or static blue. Now I can go out and I can just with a change of a button, it's eight o'clock. make it a peppermint theme if I want with a red and flash white. Ooh. So we'll be showing that as well. And then another thing, there's more because I'm super excited and a lot of people know I love to hear myself talk. It's just fun. I get a lot of information for myself. Um, <laughs> one of the things that we're doing, and Rich knows, I always try to, you know, I'm like, Rich, there's a time to talk. I'd love to talk about our products because 
think we just got some amazing products I want to get in people's hands. Yeah. Uh, one of the things we're doing is the art of animation. It's mastering dynamic RGB. So that's one of the seminars that we'll be doing down at Transworld. And that's going to be Friday, 1130 to 1230. And that one's in room 262. So sure. I'll be doing that as well. We will be giving out some... Uh, some handouts there as well, some samples, some freebies and stuff like that. So if you are looking to get into RGB, but maybe you don't want that next level, because there's some great things out in the marketplace today. Some of these guys do amazing things with that next level stuff that may require uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. This is just, like I said, simple um, RF remote, easy technology. But to come in and be able to offer your clients something, I mean, this is commercial or residential, which is really exciting. So Reese, Garland's, pretty much you can make up a full house, give the kids the remote. Now it's very interactive. Um, so people have been really excited about this. And this is a game changer for us right after COVID when people stopped traveling and they were looking for things to do. They were staying home. Well, this was this was a great thing to have because now the kids have something to do. They can go out and change the lights. And when have you really seen it where, where you've had an interactive Christmas display? Well, now we have that to offer. So we've got a lot of different products in that from trees and all sorts of stuff we'll be showing. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, one thing you oh, touched wait, on. Wait, there's more, is... Nicole. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm just taking over the show now. You guys are like, oh, no, 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 it's right. I was like. That's fine. I got it. It's that. Sunday night. I'm punchy now. I'm like, oh, geez, I'm getting in my second week. I know. Isn't it crazy to do it yeah. at, at this time? Like, it's yeah. just a whole different thing. But, Eric, one of the other things I wanted to note for our viewers at home, if they do want to talk to you, one of the other awesome things that you are going to be doing, um, I, at least a little birdie told me, is uh, networking night out. That you're going to be joining us at networking night out and you're going to be yeah. able to talk to and add some of the really awesome and yeah dynamic content that you have to offer yes. with um yes. with our folks there and uh yeah i <laughs> i'm writing a note to myself because i just thought of three different topics that i i think that you're gonna knock out of the park for us and for our industry all the way around so no, there's that it. as well we're really at holiday yeah. next we want to be known as a as a trusted advisor we don't really sell a lot of our products, I mean, when people come to us, they, they know what they like. They see what they want. Uh, they know what a lot of their customers want. Um, but we really want to work with people um, just to help them, help them, whether it be drive throughs or the walk throughs, different things like that that we've had an extensive experience with. Um, and we are yeah. doing, you know, one of the things that's kind of an extension of like the trans world and getting people together and networking. There's so much good networking down at trans world. That's another thing that I think is lost and there's great booths, great displays, but the networking and the people that you meet, the connections that you meet and make, um, are just second to none. And that's why we, we came out here a couple of years ago. We used to do a big convention every year. Um, and we would have guest speakers. We'd have an insurance guy, a marketing guy, different stuff like that. Uh, but we moved that to a big networking event. So now each year we have we host a networking event in a different state. Uh, last year we did it in Orlando, Florida. This year it's going to be Houston, Texas. And it's a real good opportunity for people to come together, you know, that are in the industry, whether, you know, they be in the Halloween industry, Christmas industry, just get people together. Um, because I think when you make those connections, whether they be local or through regional or through the United States, that's really what's going to help your business grow. So that's something that's coming up March 2nd through the 4th. And we'll have information down at, at our booth on that as well. Yeah, for sure. Hey, so well, I, I have a question for you, something that, you know, I'd asked another guest at one time. We we were together at a, a party that we do at IAPA and you guys were there. You came over to our party. We, we uh, do a pretty big party at uh, an amusement. Yep park down there called fun spot yeah what's it like for you when you walk into a place like that and you see you know uh some of your products like being used there how, you know how does that feel and yeah what's it like you know as a company to actually see that in in play you know to a place you sold it to yeah it's flattering it's flattering and and not just because you see it and you're like oh wow i see it actually in full use you know not just out of the box but now in front of a roller coaster or whatever because fun spot they did quite a few yeah. of those trees um it's just really, it, it's really exciting um, when we were down there um, just to see the faces on people that saw the trees. And as we changed the color and how easy it was to do that, I mean, yeah. people were like, oh, I, I want some of those trees. And it was just, it was really exciting because it's, you know, when you're coming out with different products like that, uh, for Scott and I to see actual people actually, you know, be excited about it, um, that's second to none as well for us. I mean, just seeing the products in use, people getting excited about it, that's cool. 
Yeah, and it was nice. I mean, like I, we, from us hosting the party there, it's a family-owned business, fun spot, and uh, we know the family pretty well. They come to Trans World as well, and it was kind of cool, you know, when when they come over and I introduced you guys and and how quick you guys were to go and help them out. They were at, you know, they were they didn't understand how to use the yeah. trees fully, and uh, you and Scott went right out there and helped them uh, set them up and, and showed them how to change the colors and do all that stuff. So it was kind of nice. Yeah, no, I appreciate that, Rich. It was, it's always good seeing you two in those events. And I think just like, you know, knowing Rich and when he first, he, there's no lie, when he came in and saw us in Dallas and he was pitching the Trans World show, we didn't know much about it at the time, just, you know, where we were at, going to a lot of like the Atlantas, Dallas, stuff like that. Um, but I really am, I really am um, appreciative of the fact that you did come talk to us, Rich, and that we are part of the Trans World show now. Um, well, thank you. Just because it's really cool and we get to meet people like you know like obviously rich building our relationship but also looking forward to building a relationship with you chris and you nicole um and then the rest of the great yeah. guests that are on here i know you've i've, I've watched last week that was fun um it's not oh yay. Us, you know you. getting to see you know our customers but i like to see what else is around there and we do buy from other yeah. vendors as well because uh there's some cool stuff out there yeah and just well and you can also repurpose stuff too and, yeah. and, and yeah. how you inspire to to do other things that might be in your realm yeah one yeah, of the things i, just, I did want to mention and i'm not sure how we're doing on time and if you do need to cut me off oh, or whatever man. but one of the things that we do also i think is as a company we don't charge for training and things like that so if there's people that need to be trained on different things whether it be dynamic rgb or just understanding the industry how to get in the industry uh, we never charge for stuff like that but we also do free certification so dynamic rg mm -hmm. Dynamic wow. RGB certification came around right after COVID. Uh, we would have people come and get on a Teams meeting or a Zoom meeting with us. We talk about Dynamic RGB, how to apply it. Um, our whole team of all of our relationship uh, managers here at Holodynamics would get with people and, and do these demos and certifications. And when they completed that half hour session, we would send them a sample to go out. So they would actually receive some of the Dynamic RGB C9 bulbs. Mm -hmm. um, that we would send to them as well. And also a certificate with their name on it showing they completed the class. And then also several of these stickers that I have up on my wall of Dynamic RGB. So those are things that we also do to try to help uh, with the industry to help yeah. you know people understand not just that our products look cool, but how to use them, how to install them easily. Uh, we also look always to ways that we can knock down or KD our items so people can store them because that's always been a big issue as well. So anybody that's listening tonight, anybody that, you know, maybe want to get into the holiday that's doing the hot side or anybody that wants to build up their holiday lighting side, we're always here to help. And that's the tag I always, I always say to people, I'm always here to help. I'm always available, Facebook, text, phone. Uh, ask my wife, she'll say, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're at dinner. And <laughs> I, I can attest to that. I yeah, got to take it. It's rich. It's yeah. Scott. It's yeah, I can attest yeah. to that. That's, that's what happened at Fun Spot. And that was the point of my story. It was more yeah. about you guys just got right up and went out there and helped those guys. Yeah. And, you know, that's what I like about you guys. It's, yeah. it's always been that way. Everybody that works for the company is extremely friendly and approachable. You know, when you come in the booth, it's uh, you feel welcome. I appreciate that. Thank you, Rich. We have a question from our audience. Huh? Do you ship international or just to the U.S.? Mm -hmm. Uh, we can. We can ship to the different ports and whatnot. I've got a lot of uh, customers like in Mexico that will ship down to like Houston, just depending. We can pretty much make a lot of things work. So if somebody's interested in that and wants more information or where they're located, um, yeah, just reach out sales at holodynamics.com and we'll see if we can make that work for you for sure. Sure. Now, there, there's a bunch of people who have already decided they are ready to buy, yeah. and they're just curious if you have any special sales or promotional yeah. type of things that might be going on, yeah. maybe to save a couple of bucks during the show. Yeah. No, perfect. So thank you for that segment there. So we do have a early order bonus buy where, and anybody that's interested in receiving our price list um, and different pictures, things like that, again, just reach out. Uh, but we do have an early order bonus buy that when you order, you only have to put 10% down, 40% in July, and then the remainder before it chips out. So we try wow. to help finance that for our customers because we know a lot of people maybe don't have a lot of cash outlay in that first quarter. We try to help that as much as we can. Uh, so that's also an extra benefit of that. Um, and we'll have some different show specials and things like that. We do have a ton of early order bonus buys on our C9 bulbs, our magnetic cord, um, 
garlands, wreaths, bows, stuff like that. So look for that also to um, come out at Transworld. Or if you're not going to Transworld or, you know, you're worried about maybe not having enough time to see us, I can send that also ahead of time. So either Akam, myself, Ben, Dylan, Scott, any of our team will be able to send that out and make sure you guys get the information you need. That's the awesome. The biggest thing is to be able to secure the inventory. So we're looking really good on time frames and everything. Um, just cost has come down a little bit on the on the shipping and whatnot that you've seen internationally or globally. Uh, so that's helped out, I think, in the industry as well. Um, but the big thing is to secure the stuff so that you have it for the season so you don't have to worry about it being sold out. Because there are some items that we have that will be hot sellers this year especially on that illumination side and the cherry blossoms and things like that. So I'd say if you're interested in, you need pictures, dimensions, any additional information, reach out to us and we'll make sure that you get what you need. So now um quick question, is there uh, X lights? Do these work with X lights and LOR? Uh, so this would be a different technology. Who's ever asking that? I'd say the best thing is to come by the booth and see how it integrates. Again, it's a very simple, simple technology um basically it's plug and play so awesome. you know i'd say once you get it we can give you a demo on it you can see how that interacts with your system but it is meant to just be a simple technology that i can put up like i said you can put the c9 on the roof line we can put the uh, garlands around the columns we can put the net lights and the bushes all that type of thing and it's all controlled with the one remote so although you may have 20 different controllers out there the yeah. one remote controls it all which is really cool but we also have within our pieces, we have a lockdown feature, which you can press down. So if I put, let's say, one of the spritzers out or a snowflake, I can lock it into a certain color. So if I want it to be red and always be red, I can just press down there for a second. It'll blink and it'll lock it into that color. And that way it's immune to the RF signal. So it's really cool. So you can get a lot of stuff with red, white, and blue, a lot of stuff for Halloween. Great thing about putting it up for Halloween is you can get that up earlier get all your Halloween lights up. And then when you switch over to Christmas, it's just a, just a flick of the remote over to blue and now I'm in my Christmas colors. So that's a awesome. beautiful feature. Yeah. Yeah. Um, really quick to answer one of the questions. Yes, that is a, a paid seminar. So you would have to um, register for that ahead of time and get your seat for that. Um, especially after tonight, this is, this is awesome. Yeah. All the way it around. will be sold out. I tell Rich every year, uh, it's the <laughs> one seminar that gets sold out probably first. Yeah, um, you know, standing room only every year, every year. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. We've so only now, had one one complaint ever about uh. It was rich. It was it rich. Was, it was from like, Disney. <laughs> ah. It was Disney. <laughs> oh, God. That's awesome. So now we can catch you in booth two zero one five, and also now at the networking night out, you've got your um your seminars. Yeah, ten days away. Crazy. Yeah. Just crazy. 10 days um, away. And I am wrong. Your booth is 4519. I'm That's sorry. what I was going to say. Yeah. So if you go like, to wait. 2015, you may be seeing somebody else and you're like, oh, yeah. I just don't see Eric there. <laughs> um, I like that's okay. That as you lied. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, but we will be there. And the, the nice thing is, you know, I, I encourage people go around and take a look at everything because there are some really, really cool stuff at Transworld both, on both sides. Um, really cool people you're going to meet at those networking events. Um, so I encourage you to do as much as you possibly can during that, you know, because it goes, what, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the folks that actually come in for that time frame, make sure you're doing as much as you can, even if it is getting to be late at night, because again, you know, you, you want to take advantage of everything that the show has to offer, which is don't a lot. Don't forget to stop by and see Eric. Yeah, and don't forget to stop yeah. by and see me. And hey, if you guys want, I, I know last week, it seemed like we were giving out some things. I didn't see any of that yet tonight, but maybe I missed that. But I know I talked to Scott about giving up some spritzers. So if you want to, you know, whether they pick them up at the show might be the easiest thing. Um, or however you want to coordinate that. Why don't that. we do that? What we can do yeah. is if you're going to the show, put a, D, a TW before your comment now, and we'll just randomly pick some people. How many do you yeah. want to give out, Eric? Uh, let's give out six of them. All right, yeah. so wow. have, uh, six people, if you're going to attend the show, put a TW in front of your comment. I got to go. I got a comment. Hopefully, I'll get picked. Make a comment now, and then uh, we can set you up to- Oh, my uh, gosh. Look at all these comments. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, how many people on there? <laughs> there there's a lot now, popping are, in there really cool. You guys, these are great. Um, like I said, lots wow. of different ways that you can display them. Great for gifts as well. If you're a retailer, 
and you want to carry these, uh, come in a really good retail box as well. Um, but yeah, we love them. Our customers love them. And the price point, you guys, is amazing on them. It's dynamic. Um, it's when, when we share that with you, you'll see that there's a lot of profitability be made in there, a lot of margin for you. Um, when you go to sell those. So. All right, Eric. So here's what we're going to do. Each one of us will pick uh, some somebody in the list just randomly. Okay. Grab somebody out of there. You can go first. Uh, the the okay. comments are literally exploding right now. Oh, my gosh, yeah. they are. Fast. Let so, me ask Chris real quick. Chris, have we ever seen this many comments ever in the 11 episodes? So no, and I'm trying to do it. The yes. first guest that came on and decided to give away something while they were live. So yeah, yeah, this is this, I, told you guys, I told you guys at Holland Dynamics, we are, we're trendsetters. Yes. And we... <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So it's going so fast. Um, it is. Um, so I'm going to go... Okay, my pick is Daryl... Kirby. Daryl right. Kirby. Yes. Daryl Kirby. Daryl said he's yeah. definitely going to stop by. So, Daryl, thank Perfect. you so much. And now you are known not only as Daryl, Dynamic Daryl. Nice. <laughs> there there you go. go. Love it. Daryl Spritzer. Daryl Dynamic Spritzer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. So. All right, Nicole, you go ahead. Ladies first. All right. We are also going to pick. Uh, I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to go yeah. with Gretchen Leanne Weber. Nice. All right. Dynamic Rich, Gretchen. your turn. My turn. My turn. Let me see. You know what? I'm going to go with somebody that supports this show and is always on. I'm going to go with Alan Hops. Yes. Alan, dynamic Alan. Oh. Dynamic wow. Alan Hops. Dynamic Sir Alan. Yeah. All right, Rich, Chris, who do you got? Turn. Love it. Love it. I'm going with... Uh, uh, Derek Seltzer. Right. Yes. Yes. The dynamic Derek seltzer. I like that. Entertainment. All right. I like that. That could I be a great. I hope somebody's keeping track of this. I am. I am. The dynamic oh, we got two seltzer. more. <laughs> two yeah. more. We got All right, two more. Eric, it's your product. You pick you pick the next two. Okay. Uh next one up. Wait, this one says Rich Bianco. Okay, hold on. No. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let's go with. Elgin Clock. Elgin. Yay, Elgin. Elgin, oh, dynamic yeah. Elgin. Nice in the house job. tonight. All right, last one. All right, Who go ahead, it? Eric. Final oh, one. I'm doing the last one? You're doing it, yeah. Eric. Okay, let's go with Mary. Is it Mary Rocky? Mary, hopefully I didn't uh, Great names. ruin your name. R-O-C-K-E-Y, awesome. Mary. Very nice. So dynamic Mary. Very nice. All right. Yeah, so here's the thing, guys. And, and, and although we, you know, it's fun giving some away tonight, we will be doing more at the uh, at the booth. I'll probably be doing some stuff at, like I said, the Art of Animation, Mastering Dynamic RGB. We'll be giving some things away there as well just to get those in your hands. Um, I think once you, you see them, you touch them, you put them up, you're going to love them. So... I'm glad we were able to give some of those out tonight. Oh. Thank you guys for for absolutely. And from our that. perspective, Chris will make a list. We'll drop yeah. it off at um, Eric's booth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you are one of the uh, prize winners, just stop over at the booth, see Eric, say hello, pick up your spritzer. Yeah, awesome. That's, That's awesome. awesome. That was Thank fun. You. I want to do more. I was here. We have some. Uh, we have some more. I mean, more okay. Guests. Scott wants to give. Guests. Okay, hold on, guys. Hold on. Scott wants to give away a. Cleveland Brown sweatshirt size extra small. Ah. Anybody, anybody that wants that, please comment. Who's in there? <laughs> <laughs> the the comment around the top. Oh, oh. No, I love the comments the completely that, uh, stopped. <laughs> probably the most fun. Is, it's the fun side of it, as you guys, you know, as you meet friends. I I joke to my family about it. It's uh, my, especially my son and my daughter, where it's like the friends you have. When you're growing up, it's like you got, you know, friends from elementary school, junior high, high Go school, bells. maybe you're yes. in a fraternity as, as I was, maybe all those friends. And you look back and you're like, how many friends do I actually have from elementary now? One, maybe from high school, one. But yeah. then I look and I'm like, how many industry friends do I have? Yes. The most yes. people that I talk to next to my wife, my kids, Scott and whatnot. Yes. It's, I it's guys in the industry and i, I mean, love it's it interesting and, how you become friends oh my gosh it, you know every day you're talking to and and the the cool part is what we love about trans world is it's kind of like the get together you know yes. everybody comes yeah. and gets to hang out a know, reunion time. well and i think rich you kind of started with with scott with the steelers browns 
And then, then we got the Nebraska. And yeah, we got the Nebraska deal. But now in my family, I've got my daughter's a Dolphins fan. My son's a Rams fan. My oh. wife's a Packers fan. And I'm a, a lowly Vikings fan. So, yeah, that's <laughs> nobody's in the nobody's left. In the right. playoffs. So, I'm going to yeah. give a quick shout out because our house is all Bills fans. Hey, so Bills are okay. I like the Bills. Runners. Sorry yeah. for your loss. Ah, I like I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. yeah. Oh, my that's God. That's awesome. Well, well, I really do appreciate uh, being you. able to yeah. be on Transworld Live. I think you guys got a great show. I think that Thanks. it's being produced well by Robert. I think you guys, you know, Chris, Nicole, and Rich, Thank you. you guys are dynamic people. And I think that's, you know, well, that's what we're drawn to in the industry it's just not the products it's also the people and yeah, so i think absolutely. you guys do a good job representing that so thank thanks you for coming on we appreciate that yeah. eric we'll see you very awesome. soon thank all right you so much. yeah thanks guys i appreciate yeah. you thanks eric yeah, yeah skull bike is up sean benner skull. Love, it. <laughs> love it and he gets a spritzer write that one down I don't know. <laughs> that, uh digs once out of buffalo so who knows maybe i'll go back go to uh, yeah i've seen a lot <laughs> more stuff on here guys i'm just yeah. showing yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks Eric. Thank All right. Wow. Oh my gosh. That wow. The, Dude, like, how cool was that? The that, generosity like, that he gave out that stuff, and and I mean, did we learn something tonight? It literally oh. exploded. Like, people yeah, that was wow. crazy. That, that so, was awesome. Can we I just can't wait? Can we just recap? So, Daryl yeah. Kirby, Gretchen Leanne Weber, Alan Hops, Derek Seltzer, Elgin Clock. Mary Rocky and Sean Fenner. So seven spritzers. You can pick them up anytime at the show at booth 4519, which is Holly Dynamics. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> but yes, Sean, wait, there's more. Guys, we still have two more dynamic yes. guests to yes. join us tonight. And without further ado, I think we should bring our next one on. What yeah, do you we got to roll. We, we, Let's do yeah, it. we got a lot more show to do. All right. I am going to go ahead and introduce Allie Mueller of Dogwood Entertainment. Allie, yeah. come on in. Join Woo. us in this crazy adventure that we have going on. Yeah, Allie. Hi. <laughs> Hi. That's a hard act to follow. I know. <laughs> I know you guys didn't see I don't think I'm bright enough tonight to do that, but I'm going to, I'm going to do my best here. You're going to do awesome. Okay. It's going to be yeah. great. So let me, yeah. let me start with something here. You know, what's interesting is like when we have the exhibitors on, like, a lot of people think that we just bring in exhibitors and they're, they're just another number at our show. I literally have an interesting story with almost every exhibitor that comes to our show uh, based on how I met them. I do the majority of the exhibitor sales at our show and, and I can go back with a story with you. I remember when we first met and um, the Super Bowl together. Yes. We, we <laughs> actually watched the Super Bowl together. We were at a little farm show and, yep. and uh, I invited a bunch of uh, our clients out to dinner and you happened to be there. You weren't exhibiting at the time. You ended up coming with us and, yep. and uh, we had some, we had a lot of fun and we became friends there and, and you actually tried out the show and the rest is history. Yeah, that was a it was an interesting um, parlay into this. And then we are, our first year was the COVID year, and we were like so amped. We had like <sighs> scrapped together all the cash to do it, and we were ready yeah. to go. And then fucking COVID. But uh, but you know we did. I, I have to say the thing that was most impressive and the reason we absolutely continue what, knew we were going to continue to come was the effort <laughs> you guys put in to making some sort of virtual platform for the people for the vendors. I mean, like no other show, we've been involved with four or five other shows and no other show did anything near that. And the fact that you guys rolled over the registrations for the following year, like, again, no other show did that. No other show even thought to do that. Yeah, we appreciate that. that. We took was, a lot of flack for that too. And people yeah. understand it. We, we spent all the cost of actually building the show that right, year. That was a hit for you. That wasn't, was you weren't just taking it was a loss for us. And we had to roll that money over to a following year. We didn't have to based on the contracts, but we didn't feel in good, yeah, uh, in good faith. We, it wouldn't have been fair to our exhibitors to put the expense yeah. on them. And we, we took a full year's hit and rolled it over to the following year and spent double the expenses producing the show. But at the end of the day, you know, we're, we're, we did well. We, you know, things worked out well for us. The show continues to grow and people like you, you know, basically go unnoticed. Yeah. 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 Noticed. And we appreciate that. I really appreciate that you said that. Yeah. And it's funny, like, so having um, Holly Dynamics before us reminded me that we met them at IAPA. And while he was on, I was putting my order in because I um, I'm due to order some C9 bulbs. But now I'm like, shit, I should I should have waited and gotten the deal. or <laughs> got a free I gift. actually introduced you to those guys. Yeah, exactly. I know. I know. Yeah. It's all about it's about the relationships and knowing I get 
tons of calls from exhibitors being like, do you know somebody that can help me with this and that? And they happen to be like a couple of aisles down from you at IAPA and we brought you yeah, guys. Yeah, that was perfect. And, and it works. And then you guys can help each other into the future because you use some of their products. And one of our haunt, uh, Alan Hops, who actually, uh, you know, he was one of our prize tonight. He made a comment on the last show that if you really want to learn things about lighting, you know, and you're on the haunt side or the Halloween side, the Christmas guys are light years ahead of us. And I go over there, talk to them, get the knowledge and all that. And then this yeah. is where the relationships start. Yeah, they're doing very cool stuff. Uh, we'll definitely give some freebies away after the at the end of this. So remind me. Ooh. But, uh, Ooh. Wired me. You started gonna... something here. That's and this is all Eric. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a yeah. garage sale. Cool. All right. So <laughs> tell us a little bit about Dogwood Entertainment. Yeah, so we're um, we're like six or seven years old. I got my start um, with uh, actually another vendor that's going to be at the show, Jack O' Lantern Warehouse, doing um, Jack O' Lantern shows, uh, family friendly stuff. Um, my husband and I started our business to do our own thing. Um, got really interested in the family friendly stuff, but then we've kind of creeped out of Halloween. We're doing a lot of hol of uh, other holiday stuff. Um, Christmas. Uh, we've just finished an Easter trail for someone. Ooh. Um, done some Alice in Wonderland themed stuff. So, and it's like, it's interesting. It's all kind of the same stuff, you know, it's like, it's just creation out of foam. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we're doing a lot of holiday, uh, thematic stuff. We have mostly family friendly, but we've creeped in a little bit. We've got a couple of haunters in our crew now, so they keep trying to add blood to stuff. So we will have, um, at our display, we'll have a couple of, uh, like, um, photo op, props that are going to be like, uh, you know, creepy weapons and things like that. But um, yeah, we, we focus a lot on uh, everything's like foam carving and prop fabrication. Um, we do jack-o'-lantern trails. Um, we do uh, pretty much anything related to the Halloween photo ops, trails, props, etc. We also, um, we're going to be launching our, uh, we, we've already launched, but we're, this is going to be the first show where it's really um, presented is our own foam pumpkin line. So we make the foam pumpkins. Oh, thank you. Wow. Um, so <laughs> that was like right on target there. Um, so we do, we, we, we mold and cast our own pumpkins that we use them for ourselves. And then um, about a year and a half ago, we had some, uh, some of our competitors come to us and ask for for product because they were having trouble getting comparable product from another vendor and we were able to supply them. And um, since we've been supplying three or four of our actual direct competitors, we supply them with their material. And um, so, you know, whatever, you know, buy, buy a pumpkin, buy a pumpkin. Um, and uh, so we have, we'll have these there um, on display. They can be used in whole, in a whole format. So you just like put them on the ground, carve a face in them, or they can be used for jack-o'-lantern displays, um, which is a big, a big, um, it's a big interest of like doing the trails with like the big jack-o'-lanterns. I think there's actually a picture, um, whoever's behind the scenes maybe can pop up the picture of the dinosaurs uh, on the jack-o'-lantern trails. There you go. Ooh, right there, there we go. Look at that. So those are just the jack-o'-lantern, yeah, it's a jack-o'-lantern, um, you know, lit up from behind and then we carve them into, into different composite pictures. So jack, you know, just dinosaurs and things like that. Very um, cool. So yeah, so we sell the final pieces, but we also sell the wholesale product. Um, which is cool because we're kind of, you know, customizing it for the actual use of what they're um, they're made for. Very, That's very awesome. Beautiful yeah. work. Yeah, yeah, this is one of wow. our little flowers. This will be there. Wow. So, yeah, it's really, you know, it's very artistic. I am not the artist. Um, <laughs> I wish I was this good, but um, sadly, I'm not. Um, but, yeah, we've got, uh, you know, just got a cool crew working on a lot of cool stuff. We have, we're going to have some pillars there we're gonna have um some christmas products and we're gonna have one really awesome piece that we're keeping under wraps for now but Ooh. so we're excited about that but yeah we've got like a whole tractor trailer of, of uh product coming so we're very excited about that very very nice so you're you you guys have started out of trans world and you were just a little one booth company how you know how's, how's trans world helped you and how's what have you grown into this year? What are you guys planning this year? Um, Transworld is like our pretty much our main show at this point. We do IAPA. Um, we did it for the first year this past year. We'll do it again next year. But um, this is definitely where our, our main point of uh, our clientele has come from. Um, because I think Larry was the one that mentioned it, but or maybe it was Holly Dynamics. But a lot of the haunters have expanded into other holidays. So, right, so the yeah, people right. are doing haunts now. They're also doing family friendly. They're also doing Christmas. And some of them are getting smart enough to do Easter and springtime as well. 
Yep. So we've been able to take a lot of the clients that we've met there just for Halloween and turn them into full year clients, which is That's really awesome. cool. Um, awesome. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a really cool experience. We've, like you said, we went from a little 10 by 10 and this year we're at a 30 by 30 and we kind of need more room to be honest, but <laughs> we're trying to like scale, scale yeah. our reasonability but um, in there. Yeah. Now, yeah cool. We're trying questions. to bring as much cash and carry items. We'll have it. We're going to have a ton of floor samples. Okay. That um, will be, yeah, cash and carry because um, we are, uh, you know, we're just, we're in mass production. So we're bringing our floor samples out, but hopefully we'll be able to sell those on site. Now, um, people, that we've, that we've got questions from the audience. Yeah. What's the Hit average me. price of a pumpkin um, when bought in decent quantity? Um, so our basic pricing was on that sheet and I can, um, I don't know, can I make it like public or I don't know how that would work, but something like this size, um, without anything on it, full in a, in a full would be about 50, $55, depending on the size. We've got a whole range of them. Yep. Um, so it really depends on like what you're using them for. We have a cheaper version that isn't carvable. Um, oh, there we go. Um, so we have like a cheaper version, cheaper versions that aren't carvable. So if you're just looking to like decorate a stage, like we had a client that just wanted to fill a stage up with pumpkins. They didn't care if they were carved. They can, you know, they can just be whole pumpkins there sitting there. They can be cheaper. Um, and we generally don't have minimums on our orders. Um, we are, I will say, we're, you know, we're as of trans world, our ship date is March 31st, but we are taking orders pretty rapidly for our pumpkins. So I would definitely, um, if you're interested in buying anything of a substantial quantity, we encourage a conversation there just so you can lock in your price and your ship dates. Very nice. Awesome. Yeah. And now um, the dinosaur is how many pumpkins? Uh, that would range, um, that dinosaur was 16 feet tall. It's probably about 140 half pumpkins. Um, <laughs> so yeah, That's so awesome. we have, these wow. are um, like our half guys are, they're hollow, you know, so you can, they're wow. hollow. Wow. Very so you just cool. put them on board and then you like light them up. So yeah, um, yeah now, Allie, are you accepting any pre-orders that people can pick up at the show? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll be. We have already taken some pre-orders of um, pumpkins, of some display pieces. Um, some of the cash and carry items are accounted for, but many of them aren't. We'll have um, a really cool pillar entrance with like a you know stone facade behind it's half of it is behind me Ooh, yeah. uh, we'll have a snowman um some ornaments um I'm trying to think of what else we have that's unaccounted for is that frosty oh, behind you that is frosty he hasn't been finished yet but he's he's on his way he's nice and he's old. holding an axe currently uh yeah that's one of our we uh one of the weapons <laughs> yeah you know what like uh i let the the haunty people in our shop have some free free time and i learned my lesson there was a lot of there's a lot of blood on a lot of stuff i love it <laughs> <laughs> we've been family friendly for so long and i came in one day and there was just like a dead head and a you know a stump and i was like what is <laughs> but it'll, it'll be great but um yeah absolutely pre-orders we're we're bringing out we're shipping out on friday um, like I said, we have a tractor trailer heading out. So we ship Friday. Um, anybody who, you know, once we do have some stock ready to ship, um, we'll be bringing, um, products like we do, uh, little stringers for the trees, like little, little pumpkins on like, yeah. uh, we'll be using Holly dynamics, uh, C9 bulbs for that. Ooh. Um, and, uh, those will be available. We'll have some in our display that'll be available to purchase on site. We'll also have some boxes, um, those usually go pretty quickly and uh, and we're taking, we can take some pre-orders on that as well because um, we do have some in stock that we can bring. Now, what are the largest pumpkins that you can purchase from you? Uh, the biggest one we have right now that'll be there on this, the, at the show is, it's called the Big Al. Um, it was Big named Al. after me and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, that one is, uh, it's on that sheet, but I believe it's, uh, it's, it's like 22 inches or something like that tall. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Uh, it's 16 inches tall. Um, the other, the one next to it, um, the Moby, which is named after my husband, it's tall and trim. Um, that's <laughs> 20 inches. Uh, but we are in the process of creating um, six new uh, new molds. So we'll have some additional larger sizes and those we, we'd hope to have them done before trans world, but we just couldn't get everything together at the same time. So understandably um, so. Yeah. yeah. One of the interesting things is um, because of the capabilities we've added over the last year or so, like we have our own line of pumpkins, which you can find at foampumpkin.com. But what we've also been able to do is create um, 
pumpkin lines for specific customers because this industry is it's you know it's people like to have their own thing um so we have like one particular client where they're creating their own line of pumpkins so we're creating molds simply for them um that they can have ownership of nobody else will get to run those and it'll they'll be able to call them their own pumpkin line um and so anybody who's interested in something larger if you do uh, you know displays where you're constantly doing larger pieces even if it's not something that you wanted to own the mold for but if you're going to purchase enough of them where it's worth it for us to create the mold and we can then use it for all, for other people like if you have any questions or ideas by all means you know hit us up because we're we're creating everything from the ground up um you know we have automation and we have machinery but everything is really designed by hand here so um it starts with an idea and then you know very cool yeah now, people are raving about your pumpkins, but you guys do so much more than just pumpkins, um, especially your photo ops and your farm signs. Can you tell us about those? Yeah, we do a lot of photo ops. Um, farm signs, we do kind of like along with other things. Um, usually that's, you know, in conjunction with some, with some photo ops. But yeah, we've done a ton of these like big 3D photo ops, Instagram kind of pieces. Um, that's our donut. That's my, my uh, father-in-law posing there. Um, <laughs> we've done um, actually probably six or seven donuts at this point. We might have this donut with us if anybody wants to pre-purchase it. Oh, We're gonna, yeah. Hopefully it's going to fit on the truck. Um, but uh, yeah, we've done a whole bunch of donuts for different like holiday seasons. The s'more, the s'more will be there. Um, it is potentially sold, but maybe not. Um, so the person is, has said, maybe we could just make him a new one. Um, and that'll be okay. But, uh, but yeah, we'll have the s'more there. Um, the candy apple, obviously we've done a ton of, um, uh, Christmas themed photo ops also. So we do like a giant teddy bear. There you go. You're so good. Whoever's behind the scenes, man, killing it. Robert um, <laughs> he's amazing. That's our producer, Robert Smith. Oh, Robert's killing it right now. Um, but yeah, the big teddy bear, that's a seven foot tall teddy bear. We custom carved that for a client. Um, the hot cocoa cup, same deal. I love the hot cocoa cup. Yeah. And they're just like, people love to take pictures of themselves. I mean, they're just, the narcissism runs, runs hot in the <laughs> industry. So we really like lean into, even with our show, that we do like our trails things that aren't photo op -y. we do try to incorporate a photo op on the spot you know where you can um because people love the opportunity to stop and take a picture so and it's like so unique like like i said everything we do is custom so you can make whatever, whatever color you want whatever size you want whatever texture um mm -hmm. they're outdoor weatherproof they can just be popped out there for six months left alone you don't have to do anything to them um and you know it can create a really good marketing opportunity for you because oh, yeah. you know you take a great picture and it just you know it goes viral and that's you know that's all you need to really get your marketing out there so now the s'more we had a follow-up question from paul in the audience here does the s'more? oh you can sit on that there we the go first, we put it down on the property that we the first one we made and with before we could even leave there was a, a 10 year old doing uh push-ups on it Ah. And the owner was like, well, that, don't do that. And I was like, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, we um, we use a variety of hard coding products. Um, so, uh, you know, most of pretty much everything we do is, you know, you could kick it, smash it, whatever. Sure. Um, nothing's going to happen to it. Yeah, we we do fiber, some fiberglass, but mostly we do some of the other other hard coding products. So it's very durable. It is very durable. And like most of the stuff we tell people, leave it out all season. And then when you're storing it, a lot of our clients, like if they don't have the space to store things, because some of these things are really big, just like put it up against, put it on a pallet. So it's up off the ground, put it up against the barn, covered in a tarp and it's fine. And that goes for pretty much everything we make. It goes for the jack-o'-lantern displays, the pumpkins, all these things. Everything we do is generally meant for outdoors. We, we, we have some people that do indoor installations, but we just assume everything is meant for some stupid kid to come over and kick it, some parent to jump on it, or it to be left outside in a hailstorm. So perfect. That's it. That's awesome. That's <laughs> and if awesome. it's indoors, even better. But either way, it'll it'll last. It's fine. That's awesome. Bravo. So yeah. now, what are you? So now, you guys. Uh, sorry, let me let me go back because we've got some questions for you here. What are you most excited about for 2023? Oh, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> Well, shit. Because we've heard a lot of stuff. We've heard it all, right? All this stuff that you're bringing in. So, uh, what are you most excited about? So, of what we're bringing, is that a good? Can I yeah, can you can, narrow yeah. it down to what we're bringing to the show? Yep. Um, I mean, our big centerpiece is it's fucking awesome, but I can't tell you what it is yet. Um, that's going to be Wait, very cool. I took a screenshot earlier. You want? No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't do it. Um, well, I'll, I'll tell you, we're, we're bringing, we've got a, like approximately 16 foot tall skeleton that we're bringing. Um, um, it will be poseable. The piece that we're bringing itself is going to be semi-static, but we're working on the joints in the, you know, in the off season, whatever. But um, that's going to be, that's really cool. I'm very excited about that. Um, and I think, yeah, our centerpiece and what's, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be nice. We're, 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 we're vying for some attention here. So, yeah. I think just everything. I think we just, this year was a real growth year for us. We brought in a bunch of new capabilities, some automation, some new people that are helping our team grow yeah. since, since i've met you man what a what a yeah it's been a pretty really big jump big. right yeah i mean we were really like we were like, like the pumpkin girl and now like you, <laughs> it, this is this is amazing all the new stuff that you have i'm actually excited to see your booth yeah we're, we're pretty amped i mean it is funny like what i was saying it's like if rich is actually home. excited it's gonna be great oh rich is gonna yeah. be hanging out in our in our booth i've seen <laughs> all this stuff and it's it's like i mean on the show like i've seen so many things and like every year we look for that one product or that one booth that just really sets itself apart, but it looks like yeah. some of the stuff is going to be really cool. And you're in the interactive area, uh, interactive entertainment. And like, you know, there's a lot of farms and corn mazes at our show and amusement parks. And, you know, if you're listening or watching, uh, you definitely want to stop by their booth. Yeah. Which their booth number is 2015. Easy to remember. Yeah. 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 It is. It's a good year. It is. Solid year in pumpkins. Yes, and you know you actually have two websites, right? You've got dogentertainment.com and yep. foampumpkin.com. Now, yeah, we had a very important question from the beginning, and I've been wondering this too. How did you get your name? Oh, you know, it's a silly, it's a silly story. Um, naming companies is really hard. Yeah, uh, because you have to find a URL and a web and a company name that's like open, whatever. So uh, the name Dogwood came from our, uh, the wedding song for me and my husband. We uh, Old Crow Medicine shows uh, Wagon Wheel, and it's picking a bouquet of dogwood flowers. And it was yeah. super weird because when we finally decided on it, because we couldn't think of anything with like our kids' names, nothing. Nothing made sense. We have terrible names, whatever. <laughs> and uh, I was like, Mueller, 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 something, whatever. Um, and then like the day that we had decided on that, we like were looking at our backyard and I was like, son of a bitch, there's like a whole row of dogwood trees in our backyard. We had never noticed before. Yeah. Like, Fine. But I always, I always think it's hilarious because I go to the show and my, uh, like this, this show, we, we had to make this shirt, like just for your show. Right. I love we, it. The first year we went, we, we had like collared shirts on and and my card our logo is a dogwood flowering tree yeah. and we go and i'm like i'm handing these cards out and like everybody else's card is just like a bloody child with like you know blood dripping out of their face and like an axe in their head and i'm like here's my tree here's you you went with the right color you went with the right color shirt and I have a great story about that so i have a i have a friend of mine and uh some of uh my other buddies that are coming to the show this year so he called me today and he's like he's like i got all my stuff ready like for the show and that he says uh He's like, I got some blazers and and some other stuff. I was like, wait, what? Nope. He's like, yeah. He's. I was like, dude. I said, you do not wear blazers to the show. I said, you're gonna you're gonna look like a clown in yeah. a blazer. So he was he was laughing. I was like, I, I said, honestly, it's a super casual show. Everybody is really cool and laid back. I said, you're best off wearing comfortable shoes and and jeans and whatever. Yep. And it's funny, like you're you're selling at the show and you've literally changed your entire wardrobe into what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. Well, it's great. I much prefer that than having to wear like, you know, a nice, you know, a nice outfit or whatever. Agreed, agreed. But agreed. yeah, no, it's it's funny. But we actually we've incorporated the dogwood tree into a couple of our pieces um, and we spookified it for our catalog. So oh, the side of our catalog it. is like the dogwood tree, but it's holding like a like a lantern and a pumpkin that's like rotting. Oh, very nice. Uh, that's Dig awesome. It. Yeah. Dig what it. an effect it's had on you. Yeah. Awesome. All hey, right. So what, can I, what can I give away? Can I, I give away some like portrait pumpkins? Oh, yeah, right you can do whatever you like. Whatever yeah, you like. I'll do. Let's do five portrait pumpkins, and you can choose whatever oh whatever monster you want. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Somebody win one of these for me. I'm dying for a Frankenstein one. Holy moly! All right, so let's we're gonna we're gonna go with uh like what the same thing, guys. We'll put a no, we're gonna make them say you have to be attending. You have to be let's attending. Make them say bark this time. For dogwood, get it? Huh? There you go. So <laughs> you gotta you gotta say TW in front with the word bark and then yeah. just a comment. And uh and we'll have Ali start out picking out a, a guest. All right. 
There we go. Wow. <laughs> they start coming out of the woodworks, all these yeah, people. There we go. There's a lot of barking <laughs> now. Do you see okay. Eric? Uh, Eric got in there, too. Do you see James? I'll, I'll do Grant Alexander Davis. Oh, my God, Davidson. It's moving so fast. There we okay. go. It is moving so fast. It's very hard to follow. If you, Allie, if you take your, on the mouse and just pull it down and hold it, you can see him. Oh, it stays static. There we yes. go. Yeah. Grant Alexander Davidson will be my first. Boom. We got it. We got Boom. you in. Congratulations. They, they need to choose the style now or? Yeah, they can, no, they can, uh, if they can choose it this week, like they can, if you want to connect us or something and they can just yeah, connect them. This week. Yep. Yeah. We'll do yep. that. We'll give All some right. instructions here. Cool. Yeah. Care. Whatever they want. All right. I am going to go ahead and wow. They are coming in hot wow. over here. Um, I am going to choose. Holy moly, guys! Right. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pick James Hohennessy. Oh. <laughs> he was the first, and he was like in there. He was the first. He was the first. But That's another exhibitor of ours. Yep, Bosco Studios. Very nice. All Thank right, you. I'm going to go with Karen Murphy. Yes. There we go. go. He's Congratulations. She called him Pupkins. I like that. Pupkins. <laughs> yeah. very, oh. Very oh, that's so cute. I might steal that. That's why I was trying that. to think of a name for them, but he said Pupkins. I love I, it. That could be a that could be the a Pupkins. I like it. That yeah. might Aaron be it. Murphy. Nice job. Oh, you know what I forgot to mention? Wait, we can give away something else too. We're gonna have we're making um carvable tombstones that are foam and they carve black and they're so Great. cool. I should have right, let's them. finish these five and then we'll move on. Okay, maybe we'll do us, we'll do a, we'll do a Chris, tombstone. Do too. Oh, all right, so uh, I'm going with Chad Spear because he put Frankenstein in there. So yes. very creative. There we go. Allie, you get the last pick. Oh, uh oh, there's a lot of work. Chance Spectre. Go. Okay. Congratulations. Use Facebook user. <laughs> Facebook user. <laughs> <laughs> right. so you Chris, you can name them so off. Is that five? Or, or yeah, or? I'll do it. That's five, I think. Yeah, we'll do a tombstone too. It's big. They're like okay. um, they're like 40 inches tall, maybe All right. something like that. So for that, let's do T W R I P. Hey. Hey. T W R I P and then a creative comment. And yes. we expect from that. And Allie, awesome. this is all you. Oh, this is so fun. Oh, I like this. This is like being on The Price is Right or something. I know, right? I don't know what to do. Oh, wow. Here ooh, they ooh, go. Ooh, See, uh, any creative comments yet? What, what do we got here? DW and Rip. Let's get something that goes with that. DW and Rip, I want to stay. What a brave matter. Aaron oh, Stoller. No, Aaron. Aaron Stoller. Stoller. I was moving so fast. Uh, Aaron Stoller. All yeah, right, Aaron. What a brave matter. Yes. I love it. Very good. Yeah, actually, I'm really excited about these things. They're they're made out of foam. I forgot to mention them. So we made out of foam, same as our pumpkins, and they're um they're black, and then they they come out gray. But when you so you can carve them, and with a Dremel or whatever you you know people use yeah. for their carving, and it will carve black. So you can get a, a stone that's like really nice. It's very pretty. It's got ornate design, so it looks like it's an almost finished stone, and then you can customize it yourself. Very cool. Oh my God. Very Shout nice. out to all of my people. Put this on my shopping list. I need all of these. I wow. Need oh, Nicole, come over and I'll give you one. There you go. Oh, <laughs> I need two sweet. stones. Very you sweet. need neon, neon wow. pool side seating. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, Chris, can you you uh, recap uh, uh, who, who were the winners? Absolutely, I can. Allie, thank you so much for your my generosity. Oh, all right. So, Everybody that won, keep the booth 2015 down. You'll need that to come pick up your prize. Yeah. For the five portrait pumpkins, we have Grant Alexander Davidson, James Ho Hennessy, uh, Karen Murphy, Chad Spear, and Chance Specter. And then from also from Darwood, the carvable tombstone is going to go to Aaron Stoliker. Now, yes. to get your choice, please email Nicole or myself, K-R-I-S at H-A-A show.com. Nicole or Chris at H-A-A show.com. We'll get you connected with Allie and we'll make sure that your products are there ready and waiting. Yay. Allie, is there a place they can look at those uh, for the choice of the face? Oh, um, I mean, if you go to our website, our catalog is on there. There's a bunch of the portraits as examples, but um, anything you want, any character that you like, Pennywise, Chucky, you know, whatever. I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm not a haunter, so I don't know. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. We got you. Uh, my okay. staff would be like screaming at me right now because they like love all this stuff. And I'm just like, what is Pennywise? 
<laughs> now, can people but, order those tombstones in advance to pick up from you at Transworld? Um, tombstones, we will have about 30 of them there with okay. us for cash and carry. Um, okay. But yeah, we're kind of out of space at this point. No, um, but we'll take, you yeah, know, we'll take orders. We're going to do, um, we haven't exactly decided, but we'll do some sort of discount for Transworld purchases, something like 5% off um, okay. all purchases or something like that. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so anything that's, that's, purchased before or at the trans world show we'll you know we'll do something like that and uh and also guarantee you production times because we are starting to get to the point of yeah yeah later in the season. Very, understand very nice. totally understand and what's your email again for everybody watching at home um you can hit me at ally at dogwood entertainment or info at dogwood entertainment both of those um are good uh or you can hit our website and there's an info there you can follow us on instagram we just started some tiktoks mm -hmm. uh, Ooh. So, yeah we're we're having fun you know i'm gonna follow you right well, now yeah now, if you want a prize you're gonna email either nicole n-i-c-o-l-e at h-a-a show.com or chris k-r-i-s at h-a-a show Dot com. And it's best to get those emails in now because we, the show is rolling along. And as much as Chris yes. and I would love for Transworld Live to be our full time gig, we've got a lot going on before the show. So make sure you get those in. And we yeah, we'll need a couple now. days to carve too. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Let's think about Allie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thanks, Thanks for Thank coming. Thank you so on. much, guys. This was awesome. I really appreciate Thanks being on. Yes, I'm so excited. We'll see I'm you in St. Louis. We'll see you in a week. Very soon. Yes. Yes. Take care. All right. Thank you, Allie. We'll see you Thank soon. Thank you. Holy cow. I mean, I think I think we hit something tonight. This is it, this is new. And I and I'm never gonna hear the end of it from Eric, but it, but it was a great idea doing it. Eric and Allie, wow. Yes. Guys. Yes. yes. I'm sure I'm surprised Eric's not in the chat. Like, wait, I got more to give. <laughs> <laughs> but, but there's more. Love it. Oh, there's yeah. always it's more. Be on the next show, what I'm bringing. I love it. I Eric. love it. And our viewers are here for it, and everybody is so excited. All right. the way around. Um, so, guys, there's more. There's even more. There's even more. So we have um, another guest that we're going to bring on right away because they are super awesome. This is super exciting. Um, everybody in the comments, though, is doing really great. Michael Burnett, though, I want to give a great yes. shout out. Credit I know, to Michael. I know. I knew you were. You were casting and painting and doing all that sorts of other stuff. Michael Burnett, we gave you a shout out earlier today when we released what time and day your product is coming out. Um, so thank you. We appreciate you and all the other vendors that are working hard and have us on while you're working. Alan Hops is like well. Alan. Yeah. 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 So speaking of working hard and speaking of bringing lots of content and awesomeness, our next guest is super cool. I feel like they are famous for what they are doing for the Han industry. YouTube royalty. Yeah. YouTube <laughs> yes. royalty. And yes, Karen, there is more. Uh, none other than Jay and Jamie from Wicked Makers, the YouTube show. Yeah, what's Whoa. up? <laughs> what's up, guys? Hey. You guys have the best guests. This is really hard acts to follow here. <laughs> Uh, are Thank you guys you giving away some kids or something tonight? Uh, you, you give away some <laughs> I'm like frantically looking around. What yeah, can we give I away? Have nothing to give. <laughs> uh, That's all right. Just your time today. Just your exactly. time. That's all we're asking. Yeah. And we have some more surprises to give away too from Transworld. So we got you covered. No okay. worries. So let's let's we can dive into this quickly. Sorry, we uh, ran a little late on this. Uh, the guests were uh, pretty entertaining tonight, so it ran a little. Yeah. Late than we would have liked, and we appreciate you guys staying in the green room. All yeah, that we're happy yeah, to be no here. Problem. Thanks for having us. For sure. So let's get into it. I I had met you guys at our our uh, um, regional show, which is uh, Midwest Honors Convention, and uh, it was cool. Uh, a guy named Michael Shaley, I brought you up and introduced us, and and uh, what did you guys think of that show? That show was awesome. I mean, I, I know that, uh, so we've never been to Transworld before. This is gonna be our first year going. And Yay! this is our first year going to, to MHC. And uh, it was super, super fun. Um, being able to, I mean, what we do is a lot more geared towards like home haunters and and even like, even like not even home, like people who don't even know what home haunting is, right? Like people who just love Halloween. Like Halloween and, and, enthusiasts, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. And uh, so even MHC was like, Whoa, there's trade shows for Halloween. Are you kidding me? You know, like, uh, so I, I had a blast at that show. Everybody was super, super nice. We met tons of people. 
Um, so yeah, suffice to say, I'm super excited for, for trans world. Too. Oh, <laughs> awesome. So the, the fun part about all this is, is, I mean, each one of us on here, uh, the hosts, I'm our first time at trans world. I mean, I'm sure we can all speak of what, what the experience was for each of us. I know, I know when I first came in, I was an exhibitor and I literally, when I walked in, I, I was like, I had no interest in selling. And when I walked in, I was like, this is unbelievable. Yeah. And I was spending more time walking right. the aisles and, and looking at stuff because it's such a spectacle. But back from that time, a year after that, I actually started working for Trans World. And that was 10 years ago. It'll be 10 years this year. So nice. it's right, 10 year anniversary. So it's kind of cool. But uh, it's it's amazing what it's grown into. And I'm super excited to see, you know, your guys' faces when you actually walk in for the first time. You see the lines because when you saw <laughs> MHC, it's really cool. But you're... You are, you have no idea what you're in store for. Mm -hmm. it's I want to, I want to actually like, this is one of my favorite things to do is to like walk in with our crew. Anybody that's new. I love seeing people's faces. Literally. It's like kids in a candy store for the first time. It's like going to Disney and it is all of it. And we can't even overhype that experience for you. Like, it's not like you're going to walk in and be like, well, yeah, it's kind of cool. You're, <laughs> it's just, you're yeah. jaw open, eyes wide open. Like, holy crap heaven exists oh <laughs> like people have been telling us exactly that for like five yeah. years and like <laughs> we, so we we have two uh we have two young kids and covid and with covid yeah. and stuff we just haven't traveled really at all since we we started our youtube channel just about five years ago mm -hmm. i think um so yeah so basically the whole time people have been like trans world trans world <laughs> gotta go to shit it's the biggest like everything you just said so it is like like in my mind, I'm I'm I have very high expectations. I'm very excited. So, now very for good. for those that might not know about your channel, tell us everything about Wicked Makers and what you guys everything. do. Well, uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, um, so we we're content creators. We primarily uh, publish on YouTube, but we also have TikTok and Instagram and Facebook as well. And we do Halloween DIY videos, um, essentially. Yeah, like th we are like family friendly Halloween. That's kind of how we think of it. So we have a lot of young kids in our audience. So we kind of steer away from like super bloody, gory type of type of stuff. Um, and we we basically, when we first started YouTube, we made all kinds of stuff. We weren't even just Halloween or, or, or haunt focused. We were just doing woodworking and all kinds of cool, cool shit like that. And then uh, Jamie has always been like a, a super, Halloween fanatic. So when the season rolled around, we like made more videos than normal because we were like super excited to make, you know, we were making like foam tombstones and, you know, wooden fences for, out, you know, like typical basic stuff. And they just did really, really well. And we kind of found our niche. We were kind of like, oh, wow, okay, we can really focus on this and and um, put put all of that creative effort into, into making just Halloween videos which we did for, for several years. Uh, and then we went and had two, two young kids and things got real hard and complicated. And uh, so we were only making videos around Halloween, sure. but every Halloween they would be like huge, you know, we'd have this like huge um, turnout, even though we, we, we kind of disappear from like December to July. <laughs> and then we'd come back and, <laughs> and the channel would just be like, you know, it would be, yeah. be really good. Uh, so then, this year we went full time. So we, I was able to, um, I pre before this, I was working in tech and kind of in the game industry. And, uh, the channel has now grown enough where it can support our family. So we mm -hmm. now make YouTube all the time. Wow. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, and, and part of that has been like, what do we do when it's not Halloween? What, you know, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, so far we've, we've tried to keep our projects kind of spooky focused. So for Christmas, we did like a spooky, Christmas uh, present monster, and we did a Krampus. Yeah, that was our oh, that was nice. our mimic. Well done, very cool. Good. Good cool. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, and then we did Krampus, and then um, in November we did a conversion of a doll into Wednesday because that was when that show came out. And then we recently did another conversion where we turned uh, Spirit Halloween's monster hand into thing. Um, so so for that, ah! we, yeah, yeah, there you go. That's probably better. Like, so, so, so for that, we sculpted a whole new hand for it and um, wow. made a mold of it and cast in latex. And it was our first time doing molds and latex and all of that fun stuff. Um, so 
part of our goal as like a channel is to really kind of demystify the whole process and make things easy for the average you know person to to do and be inspired and make their own Halloween props. Yeah. yeah. I want you to know you've got a lot of fans watching right now, like people oh in the haunt industry. If you don't think that you are touching this industry, you are. And these are legendary people that are that are watching you, which is awesome. And I just wanted to tell you that like Michael Burnett, he is he is home right now or probably in his studio crafting stuff for the Trans World Tribute Store. Alan Hobbs has already said loves your channel, loves you yes. guys. A lot of people and then also a lot of people that are are subscribing to your channel right now Michael. it's nine o'clock well it's, it's not just a, right it's not a, <laughs> whoa can we just share some numbers that's our bedtime here yeah share, share some numbers which are just like mind-blowing yeah you guys have over three hundred and forty-two thousand subscribers and you have multiple mm -hmm. videos that have over two million views I think your highest one is your do-it-yourself spark mirror with 2.8 million views. Yeah. Mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the numbers are, are crazy. And it's fun. Yeah. What and uh yeah, and like uh, like we started doing TikTok, which is yeah, which is a whole thing. That's a whole nother <laughs> gotta go thing, subscribe on that too. Thing. Thing. Right adventure, but. but but we like we have like you know 350,000 or something people on there watch our stuff too, and, and it's just like it's just super cool how many of them are really, really excited about everything that all of us are doing, right? And and that's kind of what I get excited about is, uh, I, I would say the vast majority of, of the people who watch our stuff are not like big time haunt industry people, right? And every time, so, so, so we get to sort of bring things to them that they've probably not seen. I'll give you an example. We were like, hey, we're going to Transworld. Who's going? And and most of the people were like, "What's that? That's really interesting." There's what is it? And and we were able to like bring that and and, and give everybody that um that aha moment, you know. Uh, so it's it's really fun to to just expose and and not just adults too. We have so many young kids, and uh like really young, like four or five year old kids, right? Wow. Who just love watching our videos. Who are like, hey. Yeah. Hey mom, can we go to you know Goodwill and get some weird stuff to build a Halloween prop this weekend? You know, like <laughs> inspiring that type of behavior in like super young kids. Very I love awesome. it. I love it. Yeah. Well, I just was gonna just tell you guys a story. I just went to subscribe to your to your TikTok, and I was just informed that my children both already subscribed to your TikTok. So that's, <laughs> that's really great. You should feel super honored because they are one of your 341,000 visitors or um, followers on TikTok. That's amazing. That's, that's awesome. Insane. Yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so tell us some of your highlights of, um, did we, wait, we already did this. We did the highlights, right? We, I wanted to know about the mini ramp, endless drinking skeleton, giant spider, like, tell us where you get the big these, ones? Your, your ideas and where it where it pops in. Um, the mini ramp. I'm Jay's. Jay's been a skateboarder, and we had this big space in our backyard, and he has always wanted to build. That them. was a pandemic thing. It was it, the pandemic was like, had just started, and we were like, oh, "Well, well got to stay home." What do we do? For who, who knows how long? So let's just build this thing. And <laughs> like that, that was in an era where we were like, "What are we gonna?" It's February. Like, what do we do on our YouTube channel? You know, and and that video what was su did surprisingly well um the giant spider was that was that was your idea we we built that you know it was chicken wire and spray foam and and kind of you know um, mm, pipe insulation yep. for the legs and uh there she is <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's before it's painted it's but but it was super cool to figure out you know the purport we tried to make it like you know we used like black widows and stuff to <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> our one year old that's so cute time. that's adorable yeah <laughs> Um, but again, the, the idea, like for us, it's like the, the product, so to speak, is the video, right? And not necessarily the, the thing we're building. It's a little bit of both, but, but we're trying to like, okay, yeah, we're going to build a giant spider. But what we're really trying to do is show a million people how they can build a giant spider, right? right. And so that when they watch it, they don't go, oh, I could never do it. That's way too crazy. Like we want people to watch it and be like, you know, I probably could do that in my garage. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah. And then for the for the drinking skeleton, that one came about. We had we were talking to Goodwill and we wanted to do a collaboration video with them. And we were wandering through Goodwill and we found this fountain pump. 
And I recall seeing another video of a guy who did like a haunted um, tea kettle that was pouring in and he oh, yeah. had like a little fountain that was pouring through. I was like, that's kind of cool. Like we could do something like that. Like, but we love skeletons and we love pirates and let's make a giant drinking skeleton. And, and so we figured out how to hook it up and aim the water. And that was a whole thing. Um, and so, yeah, we used like clothing from Goodwill and we used the pump that we found at Goodwill. And so we love, we love just upcycling and finding whatever yeah. random products and spending as little find, money yeah. as possible. Like whenever, whenever we can help it, you know? And, um, like this year we got into doing these makeovers on existing animatronics. So we did like some, uh, bought some, you know, random animatronics from spirit Halloween and basically made them like as awesome as we could, you know, and, and that, that mm. took off like, Yeah, that, that has been really, really popular. Uh, and we, it kind of helped us realize that people really like, like characters more so than just props, you know, which thinking back like the drinking skeleton which did really well as as you know as a video it's more of a character you know it's not just like a it's not just like a thing that's that's kind of static so ever since then we've been trying to like we've been i think leaning a little more into like trying to make more more character stuff mm -hmm. i guess you could say yeah so yeah the 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 joker one there that was from a spirit halloween prop and then the wednesday one she was um a home depot just a little three foot doll i think she was like 40 bucks and yeah krampus he was a home depot one too he was the wizard uh, yeah his picture's <laughs> there <laughs> yeah that's, that's so, fun. Oh, cool. okay so i apologize i've been like very distracted my phone is blowing up people are literally like they are the coolest people i watch them all the time like people are losing their mind so um okay now somebody's got a question did y'all need to build a storage shed to keep all of these we we got lucky when we bought the house there was a giant shed already in the back so oh, God. that's where everything lives right now <laughs> along with yeah. like our lawnmower and stuff yeah, yeah. Barely, barely this was the year especially with the new like all these characters are building like when when you don't do all this weird stuff they come apart and go back in the box but ours don't Not so now yeah. now we just have these giant characters and our shed is now full See, I don't that's know what when you need to get there. a haunt, and then you put them all there, and then you have a space <laughs> yeah. for them, and they live there all year long. Yeah, <laughs> the museum. That would be the awesome. museum. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. we've thought about like yeah. possibly doing like giving them to charity or, or you know um, to, to to local stuff because I don't think we're gonna be able to keep them forever, and we don't yeah. have. I mean, we do like um, we, we do a huge thing at our house. We do a big you know home haunt at our house, but even that like it's not big enough for all of these especially yeah. now that we're full time and making so many videos we just don't have anywhere to put everything or a booth at trans world with one off items that you can only buy at trans world. <laughs> very exclusive yeah. very good idea <laughs> i'm just saying like yeah we're all crazy enough to like yeah um where so where are you guys based and some people are asking that that's one of the actual things that people are saying are you east coast west coast that type of thing that's what i'm asking uh we're in austin texas oh okay Ooh, all right Casey Allen's post. Right yeah i know he, I he know. said texas hunters rock that's what oh, he was talking about. i see it now i get it yes, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. paula's saying give them away here you know that's an option too all the way around uh, We've talked to Alan about doing a collaboration video at some point for I YouTube. Love it. His, his YouTube channel is obviously Amazing. phenomenal yeah. as well. Yeah. We've learned so much from Alan and, and uh, so so you heard it here. We're gonna collaborate on something, Alan. I don't know what it wow. is. Yet. We'll figure yeah. it out. We can move. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can meet, you guys can meet Alan at the show. He has a booth there, so he's under yeah. uh, still perfect. Studio. So you'll we'll absolutely love this. Guys. And Chris and Nicole will meet you there for we'll a be there. selfie. <laughs> 100%. Yes. Yeah. Now, how far out do you guys storyboard or, or plan episodes? You're talking about collaborating with Alan, which is amazing. But future episodes, do you think like three, three weeks in advance, three months in advance, three years in advance? It depends. Yeah, maybe yeah. a month. Well, for, for the Halloween season, we try and like that that September through October, we try to plan that out as far in advance as we can. But right now that we're in this like weird gray area, I'd say like a month, a month okay. before we start production. And then, yeah, um, right now it takes us, 
probably three to four weeks to complete a project in a video. And then, yeah, for Halloween, we especially like last year, we try to we actually started filming videos in like March and we, we pre filmed a bunch so that we could just have them all kind of yeah. ready to go. Just and, and we're going to do that again this year, but probably even more hardcore nice. than, than last year. That's cool. awesome. That's awesome. Now, what are some of your trends that you're seeing right now? Like, what are you, what are you seeing even just from your insider knowledge of yeah. people watching videos and that type of stuff? That's a good question. Ooh. I like people the, love the clowns. People always love, well, they, they want us to, to do make, they love the makeovers, but they want us, they have their favorite and they want us to do a makeover of their favorite. And a lot of them love like, the, the different clowns you, spirit halloween has yeah um, are you seeing any trends though that are like not not so much for us specifically but just yeah no, that's like, helpful too but yeah like behind yeah yeah what do you think mm, i don't know on the spot well yeah. thank you we'll about it we'll, 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 okay. we'll try to, um yeah i mean what i i would say we're always trying to keep an eye especially now that we're full-time trying to make videos not just during halloween we are looking all of our content's going to remain sort of horror adjacent, right? So, yep. like for example, the Wednesday Adams stuff was was a perfect, right? And Love for that. some reason, that show came out in November instead of during Halloween, which is super weird. But it was nice for us because we were like, okay, Halloween's over now, we can make Wednesday Adams content, which is super fun. Uh, and then like that Megan movie just came out, which yep. is about yes. an animatronic. And so like we're we're thinking about, hey, is there something there we could do? Uh, the Last of Us show that just came out on on HBO, which is uh, a uh, an adaptation from a super popular video game that's kind of a zombie thing awesome characters in that so we're kind of like keeping a lookout for what especially with, with part of the youtube game is like it's not just what we like right we're trying to make things that we're, we're sort of trying to predict what the world <laughs> will find really interesting out there you know mm -hmm. do you do uh, any uh stranger things yeah so we you know, try <laughs> okay so we actually like got halfway through building a stranger things gateway yeah and it looked ridiculous <laughs> oh. <laughs> i'm like we, we can't finish this <laughs> that's yeah. a good lesson though it was yeah that was one was of the few projects and, yeah. where we, we spent quite a bit of time and and, and a, a little bit of money on that one and, and it was just like this is the dumbest <laughs> 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 so it does it happens sometimes you know yeah. This uh, this might be like picking your favorite kid, but of all of the videos, is there one or two that stand out that you just they're your favorites type of thing? For me, there is. Oh, what's my favorite? Ooh, oh, man, I love I love our drinking. I love the drinking skeleton. <laughs> He's just the drinking skeleton. Yeah, we, it's, yeah, it was so much fun it's to a, do that one. It's a but I have a second favorite. Jamie's I want to know ultra what decisive. Yeah. <laughs> the drinking skeleton. Yeah, that's, okay. my, that's my vote. Mine is the dark portal. Yes. Uh, Ooh. We built a 12 foot tall, eight foot wide foam portal that we back projected. Uh, like our own custom animation. It on. was it was based on like the dark portal from the Warcraft universe, kind of mixed with like uh, the Skyrim, Oblivion, Elder Scrolls unit. I don't, I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about, but yep. uh, basically it's a giant portal that's massive. And we did, uh, I used to work in visual effects, so I was able to put together like this really cool video that we projected in the middle of it. And it looks absolutely awesome. Like, especially from like, you know, the, the theater haunt style where you're like 20, yeah. 30 feet away, kind of looking at it from the sidewalk and it's kind of towards the back. <laughs> it's uh. It, that that was the first time we made something like absolutely huge and awesome and not just like a tiny little prop you could fit on the table mm -hmm. and and that's, that's, yeah, awesome. that's my favorite for, for those that don't have a video game background would you think it would be fair to kind of compare it to like stargate like from yeah the movie oh stargate? totally yeah, yeah. Okay. it's like like if an ancient wizard built a stargate portal like yeah there, there, you go. Go. there, yeah. there it is yeah nice okay good pull. very nice very nice yeah, that, so yeah, that, that thing... was like, we had done like some foam carving with the tombstones before, but never anything this big, never anything that needed like structure and like be, to be put together. And 
It was it was an adventure, but that was, that was fun. And we have like the LEDs inside the the pillars that we could change the colors on. Yeah. So the yeah the the sigils glow and so the coolest thing on on that is um so we we made plans for it PDF plans which is one for some of the projects at Warnet we'll put together plans and we sell them on our website and stuff and like a thousand people have made that thing like people who have never built anything in their life are like that is just so awesome I got to try it and they'll and they'll grab the plans and we'll help them through it and they'll send us pictures and, and it's, it, that has inspired like so many people to Very just cool. go out and start doing foam work you know and, and learn how to carve and paint foam and stuff which is so so cool yeah bravo have you guys ever ran into uh, a home haunt or or any place for that matter where you ran into something that you showed people how to make your mom's neighbor didn't. my mom's neighbor across the street had a drink had the exact had our drinking skeleton in his yard i was like oh hey i know that that is so oh awesome. my god that's amazing that was fun. <laughs> so two cool comments that came through one uh just a heads up alan alan hops responded and said let's do it so nice. yes that's awesome. cool making love connections <laughs> yes we, we will we will introduce you guys formally at the show and uh another one was somebody suggested that you should have a museum yeah put all the products in there you know have a wicked baker's museum so that would be kind of interesting that would be fun gotta get somebody it. to fund the building but you know yeah <laughs> you never know tours, just another yeah. reason to come to austin <laughs> and and the last idea isn't in the comments it's it's more my idea i think we should have a meetup with you guys in our trans world live booth at some point what days are you going to be at the show so maybe yes. some of our guests can come meet you yeah it sounds yeah. fun yeah, totally. um we're gonna be there definitely all day friday and saturday and um, we, I think our plane doesn't get in until four o'clock on Thursday, so I don't think we'll make it. Okay. Yeah, That's but Sunday great. morning we'll be there too. So. Oh yeah, and Sunday morning too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. As of right now, uh, we, we don't have a lot of stuff really, you know, penciled in or whatever. So as of right now, we're we're pretty open. So yeah, Rich, let's figure something out. Yeah, Thank and you. then hit me up, uh, you know, after the show and stuff. I'm gonna get you guys to some of our parties and events and stuff. That'll be on us. I'd like to have you guys come there and film and, and meet some of our guests. Yeah, it'll be a cool experience for you guys. And yeah, uh, we have a lot of fun stuff that goes on. So I think you'll enjoy yourselves, and we appreciate you guys coming to the show. Yeah, yeah, we're so excited. Um, yeah, and I've, I've, I've already wrote it down. So we're gonna plan something. And you said the magic word of Sunday. Sunday fun day might be a good day for us. Um, too, so that you guys can take in all of the awesomeness that's happening on Friday and Saturday, and then yeah, kind of we'll recap look, with us and yeah, see how we'll you break look. that news. Yeah, on okay, Tuesdays that's episode. perfect. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh! All right, so any hints for future episodes, guys? Oh man, hmm. <laughs> I'm really good at this question thing. Do you have any hints for us? That's <laughs> oh, yeah. what? Any requests? Any requests? <laughs> We're we're in a perpetual state of oh god what do we build next? Well, okay. I'm, a, I'm a little biased. And I have one. I mean, I think there should be this whole show on Transworld. You know, you, you how you came and experienced it and all that. that and is, you met cool people like that is Red. definitely in the car. Exactly. Yeah. And I, there and I multiple think, videos on that. For right. Sure. My, yeah. my favorite thing though is, and you guys have to do this is coming to the show in the morning before it actually physically opens yeah seeing the excitement and the amount of people is literally insane so like be sure to hit me up i'll take you guys around and give you a little tour but i want to get you there and see the lines forming and the and people waiting to just get in we usually have two or three thousand people standing in line waiting to get into the show and it's just the coolest experience to see the doors open right. and people go in you'll miss thursday because that's the, the you know the first day that everybody yeah. goes in it's really cool but it's it's pretty similar on friday Friday and Saturday. Uh, the difference is, is that a lot of people already have their registration tickets because they went to registration and picked those up. So the, those lines aren't as bad, but the line to get in the show is a lot of fun to watch. You want to get there like, you know, latest nine, 9 a.m. because yeah. ten. but like catching that all in and taking it in is, is a really cool experience. So do you guys have anything else you can take while they're there? They have to see the city museum if they yeah. can. Like, the city museum is really cool in St. Louis, but when it comes to the show, you got to definitely check out Christmas as well. Cause there's going to be some creepy stuff over in Christmas. Oh, you geez. have to have to check out the parties. All of the parties are just, I, I mean, really even the, the Saturday night party, the costumes that attend that oh. are world-class 
out of this world. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Saturday yes. night's a good time. The city museum with your young guests and stuff, it's pretty amazing. It, there's yes. nothing like it. I mean, I don't even understand where they come up with the name for it, but it doesn't really describe what it is. It's it's like uh, adult hamster cages. Like, it's crazy. There's stuff yeah. that you can crawl through, climb through, bring knee pads, elbow pads. I'm telling you, you're going to be sore when you leave there, you know, unless you're 11. <laughs> You know, and it's yeah, and, the, and they're even sore, but it's like it is one of the coolest experiences ever. And filming it is amazing, you'll have a great time with that. That's awesome, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right on. absolutely. The parties, the and then you're just gonna be. I, I really do think you guys are gonna kind of be overwhelmed with the amount of people that recognize you and have really awesome stories to tell you about how you've inspired them and you know how you've done big things for our industry in a lot of ways. Yeah, we, we have a pretty strong DIY community too. So yeah. a lot of these guys do like channels like yours. You'd be surprised. You think that a lot of our guests don't watch, but they, it's amazing when we told them you were coming on, how many people actually knew of you. So it's, oh, yeah. uh, they, we, we have, uh, our Midwest Haunters show is more geared towards that. It's a lot more DIY and, and home mm -hmm. oriented and things like that. But there are some pretty large home haunts and things that come to trans world. There's a lot of a lot of families that, you know, come in and it's it's pretty cool. So you will you will see a lot of people that are very aware of your uh, your channel. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. For sure. All right. Well, I guess let's let's uh, plan on yeah. seeing you in, you know, two weeks or a little less than two weeks, actually. And. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see how you guys respond to it. It's going to be really cool. Well, super pumped to meet everybody and thanks for having us on the show. And, and, uh, yeah, I don't have anything to give away. That's okay. No, that's we've okay. got stuff for you. We do. <laughs> yeah. Chris, do you want to leave, leave, leave them in with us? Before you go, because you obviously inspire all these amazing people. Um, we would love your assistance in picking a couple of winners. So we are going to give away two one hour seminar passes. They could be for Christmas. They can be for interactive entertainment. They can be for haunted houses and Halloween. We don't care. Any one hour seminar. Um, we're going to give two of them away because there's two of them and they are yep. going to help us pick. Uh, yes, they are. Gonna get it. Okay. All right. So I think we should definitely do comments. Absolutely. And Jamie, we're going to start with you. What is your okay. favorite Halloween character or, or creepy character mm -hmm. or. Yeah. Favorite Halloween character. I love when people ask Jamie questions like this because she's never. I know. Never <laughs> Not an on the spot person. Um, it's okay. You can borrow some of mine. Winifred Sanderson. Um, my dog's name is Sanderson, even because I'm obsessed with them. Um, Wednesday Adams. You could also do Bride of Frankenstein. You I'm, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Samara from the Ring. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there we go. All okay. Right, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and comment T W. Samara, I'd love to see how all of these spell this. And, <laughs> and then, we're going to let that roll for just a couple of seconds. And then, Jamie, what we'll have you do is take a look in the comments and um, pick a winner. Okay. There we go. All right, I'll let her there, yeah, wait take for, a second. Yeah, we had to wait for the first person to show the spelling, and then, uh, then a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's going crazy. Extra points for spell. Tomorrow. Yeah, right? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right. I'm going to finish. There's a lot of spelling. Uh, Nadine Melm. Nadine. Nadine. And Nadine has been watching since the beginning of the episode, so I'm so glad that she just won. Yay. Something. Awesome. Nadine, you have just won yourself a free seminar courtesy of Trans World Live. What you're going to go ahead and do is email either Chris, K-R-I-S, or Nicole, N-I-C-O-L-E, at H-A-A Show dot com it is best to do that tonight or latest tomorrow morning so that we can get you in there and make sure that you are on the list to receive that um for any folks that do win seminar passes or party passes on our show as a reminder you're going to stop into the show office to take advantage of that and uh get that that free ticket um to either your seminar shows or events all right Ooh, congratulations jerry all right jay you've had time to study yeah you've had time now my favorite character, it's, it's character, just any favorite Anything. character? Ash from the Evil Dead series. Oh, I love it. Good right, choice. So ahead, and for Easy. this giveaway, one hour seminar pass for Jay, you're going to type in TW, Ash, and then we're going to give it a second to kind of roll, and then you get to find somebody on this list of rolling names. 
and pick somebody. It's starting up now. There we oh, go. Oh, there we go. There oh, we go. <laughs> it's a oh, slow God. roll on our side, folks. We're just kind of like, is it going to go? Is it going to happen? There we go. Let's go with Michael Martell. Michael Martell. Beautiful. Congratulations, Michael. You just won yourself one one hour seminar pass. From yes. So fun. So, so awesome. Guys, this episode was super sized. Like I knew we were going to have a lot of content, but holy crap. And we have had so many viewers on this episode holding strong all the way through. So thank you guys so very much. Whew. Don't forget this Tuesday, <laughs> 7 p.m., same place, same time. We are going to be doing all sorts of other crazy stuff. Just you wait. We're going to have more information on the Trans World Tribute Store. Yep. We're going to have more surprises for you guys. More I'm breaking news. That are saying wonderful show tonight. Like, I love that. As somebody and as the Trans World team has been working right along, like, we appreciate those comments Thank so you. much. Um, holy moly, guys, wow. 10, 10 days. We're going to yeah. see you in 10 days. Can't yes. wait. I know. I know. Any last words? Any Anybody else want to say anything before we go? Seven for me. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be there in seven days. Yes. All right. Well, thank you guys so very much. We will see you in just, in just two days for Trans World Live on our road to Trans World. We have got more fun, more surprises, and so much more information coming your way. Jay, Jamie, thank you again so much for joining us. Folks at home, head to YouTube at Wicked Makers and go ahead and give them a follow or yes. subscribe if you haven't. It's also at Wicked Makers on TikTok as well. We'll see you guys very soon. Thanks, Goodbye. guys. Bye.